Yo, it's your boy Boogie in full effect. Nova tura plesnih intervjua. Velika čast i veliko zadovoljstvo što sam napokon uspeo da ovog momka nahvatam i da prosto ove kovečimo u ovom intervju. Jose de la Cruz, čovek koji je hot shot, big shot in a dancing world, puno puta dolazio ovde u Srbiju, šerao svoje znanje, imao sam priliku čak i da budem na jednoj njegovoj radionici, te s toga volo bih da saznam mnoge, mnoge stvari, mi smo se pre ovog intervjua sad malo čast toliko ispričali i onda sam mi rekao čekaj da ostavimo nešto i za intervju. Želim da se ponovo zahvalim Bebi i Beogradskom igračkom centru, opet na svojim odajama i želim da dam još jedan ovaj shout out za uhvati ritam, takmičenje koje će se odigrati u junu mesecu u kombak dvorani. Eto tako, to su kao neki ono shout out i početak, ja obično dužim, ali ajde da otpočnemo celu tu priču. So, Jose de la Cruz. So I'm so happy. I'm so happy that we finally managed to put you here in in one of the project interviews because you are hot shot. You so a great dancer and you have like tons of experience. But it's funny how we met. Yeah. Actually, it's so funny. Can you remember? Can you talk? Can you, can yeah, you yeah, tell? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was coming. Um, I was coming. I was here. I was teaching a. a I don't know. If I, I think I was teaching a workshop. Yes, yeah, yes. I was teaching a workshop, or I had a meeting to teach the workshop. It was the first, uh, was the first workshop, workshop that yeah. I've been. Yeah, 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 yeah. The first workshop. <laughs> yeah, and she asked me to um, to come, so I had my Google. Uh huh. I've never been. I was like, you know, go to, trying to find it, and then you came. I, you, you came up to me. I didn't know you yet, and you're like, was, hey, do you know where the bus stop is? Yes, or? yes. I was uh, rushing to, to 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 my friend's studio to give him the footage uh, for the uh, One Love Project yeah. interview, and I didn't know that part of town, and um, I asked for the bus. Yeah, and we're coming, and we're like, yeah, like, like, like this. Boom. Yeah, and then we <laughs> met. And then I was like, oh, oh, and then I was like, no, you it's said, that way. But you first said, like, I'm not around. Oh, yeah, I was I'm like, not I'm around. sorry, because you, you came, you were speaking in Croatian. I was like, I'm sorry, I don't do it, I don't know. And then I was like, you looked confused or lost, and I was like, <laughs> thinking, okay, maybe he's like, just needs to find the bus. I go, hey, it, it, the it's bus? It's so funny that you uh, pointed yeah. me, like, like there's the and station, there's, there's the bus, you yeah, go, different. go that way. And, and then I, I was go like, back. yo. Foreigner, help me! Yeah, and then I and then I come back here and I'm sitting and then all of a sudden I see you walk and I'm like, this guy's stalking me. Yeah, yeah. Half, yeah, and I saw you. I was like, oh my god, what's up, dude? Half an hour later, we met here and we hang out. Yeah, on the workshop and the class. Oh, so funny! Yeah, we were just. So funny, but uh, uh, the the great part was like uh, when we were doing like stretching and warming up for the for the class. Uh, it was uh, Janet Jackson's uh, a, a number, uh, if, yeah. or, or what about, what about, what about. What what about? about. Yeah, yeah, what and I was about. like, yo, this, this is my, one of my favorite songs, and this is the song that we're going to dance. Holy yeah. shit, like, oh, awesome. So, was so it was uh, so much fun, yeah, yeah, great, yeah, yeah, and yeah. Uh, I, I, would, uh, I would love to, 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 to make that choreo of yours. Uh, in one love project uh, videos yeah, and, yeah. and everything so uh because that was fun that yeah, was, yeah, yeah 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 we had couples you know we got to do yeah 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 it was yeah. So, so uh great great like uh um uh, when you met uh, uh, someone from from you know uh from the states and uh, uh they bring like something different uh, different flow different uh you know uh, little things in in, in the course so it, we were all amazed so we yeah, were all amazed fun, yeah. um how, remember how? When, wait, remember when, yeah. you were, when you were dancing and I had you and her do it alone? Mm -hmm. Marina? Yeah, 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 you yeah. Guys, it was cool how you guys were like connecting. And yeah, it was, like, you, really... you posted on Instagram. Yeah, the, and I posted on Instagram. That was fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Great, you guys great, really great. Like, had the good. It was nice to see everyone had the... Connections. The connection, it wasn't really about the choreography at that time. It was just like the but connection, the, feel, you know, the feeling, feel which the was great. Yeah, it was yeah, like yeah. really like, that was a cool thing. That was nice. so much fun. Plus there were adults. Everyone was older. You know, it was like that was more mature, more mature. mature. Yeah, so they yeah. weren't afraid to like, like giggling, lifting. It was like, you guys were like, yo, we're just gonna, you know, that was, yeah, that was great. Attitude. Yeah, attitude. yeah, attitude, yeah. Cause sometimes if you, they're younger, right. they're not, they don't want to touch, they don't want, you know, mm. but that, this was, that was cool. So, uh, uh, how you ended up uh, uh, dancing? How you ended up uh, uh, in, in the dance world and uh, how all started uh, in, in your case? Uh, I was, I, I grew up in, uh, I grew up in California, like mm -hmm. in LA and then, um, 
uh, we used to dance with friends just like for fun, but I wasn't like a good, I wasn't mm -hmm. even a dancer, I was just like friends. But we used to practice at this, uh, this uh, school, it's Long Beach City College. Um, they had like they would let the friends use the floor. And I went there, and then I met some uh, friends, dancers there that were actually dancer dancers. Mm -hmm. Like they they're actually in the program, and they uh, wanted to go to New York. Uh, and they I became really good friends with them, and they invited me. Mm, nice. And so I've never been to New York. I was just I've, actually I've, I don't think I've ever really been on a plane. It was I was like eighteen about I, yeah I don't think I've ever been on a plane I was uh -huh, like, uh -huh. at that time. So they were like, you want to come to New York? Come with us. And at that time I, I was getting into a lot of trouble because you're a kid, you know, like. <laughs> and Mexican. Ah, <laughs> LA, Mexico. LA, Mexican. You know, yeah, I was like, I wasn't going to school. gangs and yeah, I wasn't crimson going to, bloods. Yeah, I wasn't going to school and I was just ditching all the time. I was just getting in trouble. So everybody else here yeah, in Serbia yeah, too. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, and I was just like causing like, fighting and I was, mm. I was really had a temper and I was just like, I just, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. For yeah. that small guy? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I was, I was, you know, when I was 18, I was, I was pretty badass. I was oh, thuggy. incredible. I was really, yeah, I was really thuggy. And I just, you know, they, but I, but with them, I was good. Like, you know, but I was just getting into a lot of trouble. And so I was mm. like, yeah, maybe I should just, you know, so I saved money and for the mm. ticket. And we, we went there for two weeks. We were only supposed to be in New York for two weeks. And then uh, the first night out, uh, we went out for summer in New York. We're like, oh my mm. God, New York, wow, wow. And then um, I, I, we went to the, to this uh, bars and stuff. And then mm -hmm. I met a girl. And she was a dancer, oh, yeah. a ballet dancer, actually. And she was, um, in New York, there's a dance studio, Broadway dancer. Very of course, famous. of course. Yeah. She was taking classes there all the time. She was training there. Mm. And so she was like, uh, the first day I met her, like, yeah, she was like, hey, come come and meet. Every, we hung out every day. So she was yes. like, uh, come to Broadway Dancing or meet me after class. Every, at this Did time. you have the uh, dancing experience before? No. No? no not really. Oh, no, no. it was like uh, 18? Oh, yeah, I was like around 18, yeah. 18? And then I, and then I get, um, and then I, I, I then I get to uh, Broadway Dance Center, and then um, I met the uh, I was there waiting for her all the time, and then they had the it's Broadway Dance Center, so beautiful, like uh, yeah, it was like at that time Broadway Dance Center was on Broadway, mm -hmm. it was right on Broadway, like the mirror, like the dance studios, you can be in the dance studios and you can see Broadway. Oh, it was right on Broadway, it was like uh, fifty. 8th Street, but like, so like basically like, see right here, the mirrors, if uh -huh. this was all mirrors, you can see Broadway. Mm. It was on Broadway, it was nice. like um, beautiful, you're dancing nice. at night, you just see all the lights and new times, you know, mm. all the, yeah, so um, I, 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 I was there waiting for her, and then the, um, the manager would always see me there, but at that time, I looked, you know, I, looked, I didn't belong, I looked thuggy, mm -hmm. yeah, and so she came up to me, what are you doing here, and I was like, oh, actually, I'm waiting for a friend, so she would see me every day just waiting, and we became Friendly, uh -huh. like really good, actually really good friends. We actually became really good friends after. Yeah. And um, every, then I started just uh, going there every day and waiting with her. I went to class and then I went to the manager, oh. Laura. Her name was Laura. Laura. Oh, yeah. Laura. Nice. God, I would love, you know, I would love to, God, I, I would need to find her. I would love to, I haven't seen her for like years. I would love mm. to see her, like, because she changed my life. I mean, uh -huh. yeah, it was the manager. She, actually, she, she was manager, right? She was a manager. She was uh, the manager. Yeah, she was a manager at Broadway Dance Center, but she, she was actually the one response really like it was. A, for her, like she actually like took yeah. Well, basically, yeah, she yeah. I was like, oh, I need to find her. You know? uh -huh. I forgot, I, yeah, but um, good luck. Yeah, but um, but she um, uh, I saw her every day, and then uh, it was getting to the point to go back to home, and I really didn't want to go back. But did, did you LA. start the little dance sessions? No, 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 no. At not the time? Dancer. No, not a Broadway dancer. No, I was just there hanging out. Like, uh -huh, just hanging yeah, out. Yeah, and hmm. I was like, you know, and then it got to the point where it was time, almost time to go home, and I really didn't want to go home. Uh huh. I just really, because, you know, the thing with New York is like, it, it either loves you or hates you. Uh huh. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? Like, the people, the friends that I went with, they wanted to be dancers. Um, and they were actually were, were in training to be dancers, and they they and some of them actually uh, tried to stay, come back to New York later, mm. and it never worked out. Mm. Where me, New York, just it wanted, it loved me. Basically, mm -hmm. I think a city has a pulse. You clicked, you. Like, yeah. The city, I think a city is like it has a pulse. It either loves you or it doesn't. Mm. Love you. New York, like, just loved me. Like the first day I got the train, it just like it just it wanted me. You know what I mean? Just like dance, it shows you. So uh, uh, you know when I mean? when uh, you start to uh, well, so to I was there, realize yeah. that you would l love to see yourself in dancing. Yeah. Well, no. So I so was that. Um, so I was in New York, and I just like I felt that spirit. I was like, this is mm -hmm. where I, I just don't want to go home. I want to. But um, I don't know what to do, and I was like low on money, and then the uh, I was in Bro uh, New York on Broadway Dance Center, which. Um, I think a lot of schools they don't do, but this Broadway dance center, and most of the dancers, most of the schools in in U.S. do this, but a lot of schools mm -hmm. here don't. Uh, everywhere I've been, I, I don't really see it. But every dance school that has like open 
classes or whatever, they always have like a big bulletin board, like I would say mm-hmm, like mm-hmm. this, and they have pinned for apartments, auditions, uh-huh. and people Great. just come every day and pin things, looking for a roommate, mm. there's an audition, looking for some dancers. Yeah, yeah so you go, so when you go to a Broadway Dance Center, it's a great system. Yeah, you know, you're there. You see, working. All, you see all this stuff, and dancers will come just to come in and look. Is there an audition going on? Is there an audition going great. on? Yeah, and that's, great. Yeah, and that's great. So I was sitting next to that wall, and then uh, one of the someone put the thing, and I, next to me, and I was oh, another audition. I moved, and Broadway Dance Center was looking for a janitor. Oh, yeah. incredible! Yeah, for forty, for, for, I think it was like forty hours a week, was like a janitor, like a mm-hmm. job. Like, I know, I know. Yeah, I know. forty hours a week, a job, job, and so I was reading it, and I was like. I was like, hey, hey, it's a similar story in a step up one that uh, that guy uh, uh, Tatum, Channing Tatum. No, he broke into something. <laughs> yes, but but uh, he worked a, a little bit like like, like a, a, yeah, yeah. like a janitor. Yeah, yeah. So basically, yeah. So I, yeah. <laughs> so, so similar so stories. I got I I went to Laura and um, I was like, hey, you know, I would love to. I mean, I was like, is it possible? Mm-hmm. And then uh. And then she uh, she was like, okay, I'll introduce you to the owner. Bring your which, tights. The owner, the, <laughs> Bring owner your tights. the owner of Broadway Dancer, which the owner of Broadway Dancer is Allison Elner, mm. and her father is Richard Elner. And like Allison is like the most amazing person. The owner of Broadway, Allison Elner, she wasn't she wasn't a, a dancer. Actually, Richard Elner uh, wasn't a dancer. The owners of Broadway Dancer and Elner, they weren't dancers. And the girl Al- Allison owner who owns it and uh-huh. was the director of it. Director, she wasn't a, she wasn't a dancer. She oh. was just a businesswoman. She knew nothing about dance, and she <laughs> runs Broadway Dance Center, like Incredible. Broadway Dance Center, like yeah. So I uh, he she introduced her to me, Allison, and then um, I was I told her I go you know I want to um, you know I, I go I told her you know I'll work for you for free mm. if you get to give me a as dance. a janitor or no as a janitor I go, huh. I, go I'll, I, I know you're looking for a janitor I was like if oh, you um, if you um. If you hire me, I'll work for you. I have a few days left here, so I'll work for you free for these next few days. Mm. And if you like me and want me, then you you can you need to help me because I have no place to stay. Oh, uh, you know, because I'm supposed to leave in three days, but I don't want to leave here. But I, I'll, I was like, I'll work for you for these three days free mm-hmm. if you help me. Like if you help yeah. me, just find you wanted place. to stay longer. I wanted to. I just didn't want to go home. Oh. I, and I'll stay as long as you. I just don't want to go home. And mm. then. And then me and her just we clicked. We clicked, and of she course. was like, "Why do you want to go home?" And I told her, I was like, I just, I get, "I'm a troublemaker." I, oh, I, yeah, I was honest with her because come on, I had to be honest with her. I was like, you know, I got in a lot of trouble. I just, I just don't. And she's like, "Are you a dancer?" I go, "No, I don't really give a crap about dance." I think at that point, I was like, "Dance, dance, dance, it's dance is stupid." Mm. Like really, I'm oh, sorry, you know what I mean? It wasn't really my thing. It wasn't really like I was like, yeah, it was, you know, it wasn't really anything. I but after that? No, after that, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, and then um, so she took a chance on me, and then mm. she she got she gave me. Long story short. She gave me a she gave me the job, and I was the janitor at Broadway Dance Center for like three, three four years. Oh, I good. was. But when I was there, those three four years janitor, I was there from like uh, morning to closing. I did not oh. leave. I did not leave. I did mm. not leave Manhattan for like four or five years. I just stayed at Broadway Dance Center. Stayed at Broadway Dance Center. I woke up. Ate, you lived there. I, I lived there. there. Yeah, keys. Yeah, keys. I slept there. Um, I would wake up in the morning. Open. Clean all day, water bottles, clean the mirrors for the teachers, um, and then at night I would close. And so, and I was just a janitor for you know. And, it's like a movie story, man. Yeah, yeah. And it's I was like cleaning, a movie I was, story. I was and anytime like a teacher needed water or mm-hmm. a teacher needed uh, uh, some uh, lunch, mm-hmm. I would do it. Or to go to the lunch. Yeah, know. I would do it. Just everything. But at the same time, it was probably dance center. So at the same time, like. There was all these famous people that were always oh, there, like Janet nice. Jackson. Like one time, Ooh. Janet Jackson was there when she was doing the Velvet Rope tour. Velvet Rope, yes, yes, yeah, yes, yeah. Yes, she yes, was on. Yes, yes. I love her. I love her. I love. She was just preparing. Family. She was preparing for Oprah. Mm. The one Oprah show, and Damn. so uh, I had to get her in and out. So I'm in the elevator with Janet Jackson each day to get her for rehearsals, because and I had to tape the windows because. For nobody can see, <laughs> and yeah, and we're in the middle, and Janet, you know, bringing her up, and Janet Jackson was like, "Oh, you know, my, my one of my best friends has like, the same tattoo because I have a, a tattoo right here." Oh, oh nice, yeah, beautiful rain. So you you spoke? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had to bring her up all the time. We spoke a lot. She was like, <laughs> "Yeah," she was like, and then she was like, "Oh, you're a dancer and everything." I was like, "No, <laughs> no." And then she was like, "Oh, I like your tattoos." You're like, "Oh, yeah." So I would, I and I, I did that, and then um, Usher. You know, Usher. One time he was, he was actually uh, one time yeah, he was, yeah. yeah he, was, he was he was he was rehearsing. Uh, at Broadway Dance Center, when Broadway Dance Center was moving to another location, where it was it used to be above uh, Hard Rock Cafe, mm. and uh, you know Darren. Henson. Yo guys, I, I told you, 
uh, Jose de la Cruz is hot shot for real. <laughs> you know, you know Darren Henson. Yes, 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 yes. Grafford. Of course, he, he also Lopez yeah, and a little bit from Michael. Michael yeah. and Singh, yeah, got, yeah. He was actually rehearsing with Usher too. I got chills, oh, yeah. man. I got he chills. Was, well, he was Usher, rehearsing with them, so I have to, I have to bring Usher to the thing, and we're walking. And every time we were walking from Broadway, he was just buying stuff. And he bought me a t-shirt, too. Like, but he was buying stuff. Usher. So, Usher, yeah. Because I, hey, I was like, dude, we have to go to the studio. Great story. And he was like, I, he goes, I have to go to your rehearsal. They want they, they want their call. They need, and he was like, oh, wait, wait, wait. Let them wait. And then he's just buying stuff. And I'm carrying him. And he's like, dude, let's, let me buy you something. I go, no, no. I go, dude, let me buy your shirt. Come on. So ah, he great. bought me a shirt. And then I brought him to the rehearsals. Great. Uh, Stevie Wonder. Did a, 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 a concert on top of a Broadway dancing building with Savion Glover, the tap dancer. Mm -hmm. Savion, Savion, yeah, 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 yeah. Great guy, great guy. When Savion Glover had his tap, uh, uh, bring in the noise, bring in the funk. Mm -hmm. That huge Broadway show. Uh, he was doing that, and I was doing that. Mia Michaels, choreographer. Yeah, first you think, dance. yeah, yes, yeah. Think Mia Michaels, like she actually, I think Mia Michaels like made made, made so you think you can dance. Mm -hmm. She was the most amazing choreographer. She is so you think you can dance. She's mm -hmm. the reason why. There's so many dance competition now. She's the reason why, because her choreography was so beautiful and like, mm -hmm. yeah. She was. Uh, she had a company called Raw, and they would have rehearsals at Broadway Dance Center late, so I would have to let them in and out. And actually, I moved when she moved to New York. I actually cleaned out the apartment and moved all her stuff. Which ones? Uh, Mia Michaels, her, her apartment, because Allison, the owner, got an apartment for her, <laughs> and uh, and then Mia Michaels was moving there, so I had to move all their stuff and clean their apartment, and yeah. Mm. So I was a janitor, like, and I got to meet like. Uh, just I, the greatest dancers in the world. I got to meet like I don't know. You, you, most hip hop dancers don't know uh -huh. who Greg Burgs is, mm -hmm. but Greg Burgs is actually he, he was one of the choreographers of Michael Jackson Bad. Oh really? Yeah, Greg Burgs is. Oh. You ever see the movie uh, Chorus Line? Yo, the you, black guy. He, he passed. He yeah, passed. Yeah, he passed. But the I know. Black guy I know. Chorus Line. He's I know. I know. Badass. Great guy. Great guy. Beautiful dancer. Mm. Like if you watch the yeah, yeah, movie yeah, yeah. Chorus Line, you guys you have to watch yeah, the movie. You watch line. Greg yeah, Burgs, yeah. the black. He's just like. Mm. Yeah, and he actually like helped choreograph Michael Jackson's yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I met him among Jeffrey Daniels. Yeah, 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 yeah. Jeffrey Daniels. Mm, Jeff, yeah, yeah. yeah, Jeffrey Daniels. Michael, and then if you watch the documentary mm -hmm, of, of Bad, bad yeah, you 25. see he, Jeffrey Daniels like, hey, I, and I called my friend uh, uh, Greg. Greg Bergs, yeah, yeah, to come yeah. To see dance. Greg Bergs is like he was. Yeah. Oh my, but I met him. I met him. I would see them him all the time. He was so wonderful and Hinton Battle and him. And then um, and then oh Gregory uh, Gregory Hines I saw him all the time at Broadway Dancer because Gregory Hines. He's a really uh, tap dancer. Yeah, well, tap dancer, but he's close with Savion and Savion Glover. Uh, uh, there's a, a Sue Samuels. Her son is a. Uh, her son is um, the 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 best tap dancer in the world right now. Uh -huh. Jeff, Jeff, uh, what's his, uh, Samuels? Uh -huh. Jeff James Samuel Samuel. I sorry, okay, okay, okay. I know him. Okay, like, he's okay, like, okay. but uh, he's but he's they're like a family. So at that point, tap was really big, mm -hmm. like you know, huge. And like Savion Glover, Gregory Hines, all these like amazing. Savion was a kid uh, in that uh, 1989 uh, yeah, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, tap. Yeah, tap. Amazing, yeah. So with, then, with Gregory Hines. So I was like, I was like, I got to actually, I got to watch the um, the creation of Fossil on Broadway because mm. uh, Chet Walker who was a choreographer for he was a uh, uh, Fosse as a dancer and assistant they took Fosse to bring it on Broadway and they had their rehearsals and I was I had to work with him like get him all the food and mm. rock and so I got to go run and he was like no, no no stay and watch 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 and then, <laughs> yeah and then I would watch and then then after a while, that's I was just that was my job, and I met all these, you know, Madonna, I met Great. everyone, all these, all Great. these, dance, all these dancers. Great. Like, yeah. you ever see um, uh, Romeo and Juliet with Leonardo DiCaprio? Uh, yes, 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 you know, yes, 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 yes. The, the actor that plays the, the uh, his best friend, uh, the black guy. Well, he's uh, more, two, more Romeo and Juliet, the the best friend. Uh, but he was in The Matrix too. He was in the movie Matrix. Uh, he's pretty uh, pop famous. Have you seen? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he actually was a modern dancer, Alvin Ailey. Mm. Before that, because I remember I saw him. Oh, uh, and I, I saw I, yeah. But you used to see like all these stars in class. Like you would not think you're like. That's uh, Natalie Portman. Natalie Portman, Natalie I saw Portman. every day. Natalie Portman. Like, <laughs> I, I have so many memories with Natalie Portman. Nice. Because like, really, uh, when I was a janitor, every year on Valentine's Day, the owner, Richard, would have buy, would have me, because I was before I was a janitor, every Valentine's Day, he would buy all these roses, and I would stand at the elevator, and every time a, a, a girl came, I would uh -huh. give her a flower saying, Happy Valentine's Day from Broadway Dance Center. Uh, That's how Broadway Dance Center was. Broadway Dance Center was amazing. So imagine Great. every girl that comes in, Happy Valentine's Day. Uh, Happy Valentine's Day. Happy. And I and I saw Natalie Portman in class all the time, all the mm. time in class. And we know because I was a janitor. And I knew she everybody. did what? There, she was like twelve. <laughs> you left uh, at that time. At the time. No, at the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She was like 
13, 14, 15. No, she, no, she was, at that time, she was like 12, 13. She was young Natalie Portman, but yeah. she was still famous Natalie Portman. Mm. And she came in, and I very, yeah, oh, thank you. And then when she left, she gave me a rose. Here, happy Valentine's Day too, Jose. And I, 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 I saw her every day in class. I saw all these movie stars, like, just come in and out. And they just... It was cool. It was very right dance center. It was but like, cool. uh, after yeah. all that, the uh, people you met, uh, you kind of used to it to to, to see uh, that famous uh, yeah, people yeah. who are also people, you know, with, with yeah, the yeah, yeah. You know, saw, basic needs. I saw, uh, Matt Damon, mm. uh, Leonardo DiCaprio. I've seen there. On the, plus, it's New York. You see them mm. everywhere. But then, um, so that was, I was a janitor uh, mm. at Broadway Dance Center. That was my job. And then the owner, Allison, was and Richard. Actually, he was uh -huh. Richard. Richard. I'm gonna say. Actually, I got a tattoo when he passed away. Uh -huh. right here, he was like my father to me. Man. But he was like, you should start taking dance classes. Yeah, that was yeah, nice question. Like, when would, you start to to yeah. to, to dance, so, when you uh, taking, fall in love with the dancing. Yeah, then I started taking classes, and then um, I started taking classes, and then um. I was like, when I started taking classes, I was a janitor, so as uh -huh. I got all the special attention uh -huh, uh -huh. because I was a janitor. They knew me. I was there uh, every day. Great. You know what I mean? I was the one that cleaned their... I, they knew me. Mm. So, of course, they're going to give me special attention because I got their water. Their <laughs> of course. You know, yeah. So, then I would take class, and they all knew me as a janitor. Like, they'd be like... Um, yeah, and they, they, you know, they, I just, you know, so... All, and all the classes were free. Oh. Because I was a janitor, I was employed. All the classes were free. Damn. So, but then what happened was once I started, once I started taking classes, I, when I first started, I mean, I it's, sucked. It's I, a everybody's dream, yeah. man. <laughs> but I, but the first time taking classes, I mean, I, I sucked. I was so bad. I was like. Uh, so, what was the first class that you took? The like, first time was class I ever took was Beverly B. She was hip hop. Oh, for, oh, you started with hip hop. I, first, with, I trained. Yeah, I started with hip hop first. Yeah, hip -hop. Uh -huh, nice. yeah, and I and I only took hip hop. I was only <laughs> taking hip hop. Only hip hop, and then um, and then the owner Richard was like, um, he was like, you, do you want to be a dancer? And I was like, <laughs> I was like, actually, that's when I started. I, that's when I realized dance chose me. Mm -hmm, I was mm -hmm. like, yeah, because I didn't choose dance; it chose me. I, and I was like, Naturally. and I was like, um, I think I think this is what I want. Yeah, mm -hmm. I go. I really like feel it's something. And well, when was like, that? When was that? Uh... This was like just a year, a year, a year into like taking classes at Broadway Dance Center. Just seeing that world of dance. Like uh, 2000 or before? It was two, before. Before, before yeah, 2000. It was, just, it was, it was that world because I was taking classes and I just, I just seen so many dancers come in. And I was, and at the time of, of at Broadway Dance Center, it was an education, not just in dance. It was, as I was a janitor, I, I, they knew me, so I got mm -hmm. more. Because, oh, nice. Because what I did was I got an education in dancers. Mm -hmm. and dance the dance world not just dance not just the training because I started taking classes and, and then I started learning about dancers that I never knew about mm -hmm, that, mm -hmm. that, and, and the dance just the dance world of ballet jazz contemporary hip hop mm -hmm. uh, and who's who what's what <laughs> so all these teachers were, all these teachers were, were, were like just training me on like that world because uh, you had also you know, like like a uh, 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 knowledge stuff uh, besides no, yeah no, practical no, yeah knowledge because these because these dance because these teachers they I was a janitor they 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 loved their they loved you yeah, yeah and, of course. The owner, and the owner Allison and Richard they loved they loved me like I was their kid they like they mm. they like you know they changed my life I would have been dead if I wasn't mm -hmm. them. they really like so I started taking class hip hop and then they, uh, then Richard the owner was like so this is and he was like hey you need to stop you know taking hip hop classes. What? And, he was, and I was like, why? And I was like, what? And he was like, you need to, he goes, because you came from that. He's like, that's a feeling, right? It's mm -hmm, like, mm -hmm. it's a feeling. It's a feeling. You, you, hip hop, you know, he goes, and he's not even, he's an old white man. I'm like, uh -huh. what, what are you talking to me about hip hop? <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. Right? What is an old I man? came from the streets, well, though. I came, I came from, from the hood. <laughs> what the hell are you talking about me? You with your rich, yeah. father, you're a rich fool. You're yeah, 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 yeah. What, are, what are you talking about? And he goes, no, he goes, I, he goes, I, I know, I know, I'm a dan I'm in the, da I own Broadway dancing, right? I know what I'm talking about. You just stop taking hip hop. You can still take classes, but I'm just at least stop taking it for a while. Uh huh. Just take other things for at least like a year or whatever, or whatever. Mm -hmm. Just or even once a day. Try other things. Yeah. Try yeah. other things. Mm -hmm. Try ballet. Try jazz. Try because 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 the hip hop, you're just doing what you already can do. You're just, uh -huh. just learning choreography. Mm -hmm. and it's not going to get anywhere with that. <laughs> You know what I mean? He was like, you just you need to learn. You can't just be like they cared about me. They were like, you can't just be one of those dancers, which there's a lot of them. Which I don't want to offend any dancers, mm -hmm, but there's course. so many dancers out there in the world that do, they just do one thing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They only do one thing. They only do hip hop. They only do jazz. Mm -hmm, and, and Richard was like, you know, if you want to be a dancer, you need to learn everything because the jobs. You can't That's just, what's up. Hip hop dancers are gonna wait around for hip hop dancers. 
jobs. Mm. Contemporary ballet dancers are waiting for the ballet season to end. But he was like, if you do everything, then you just have a choice. They know you. You can do everything. You can do different styles. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. can do. And so, especially when you have like an arsenal, yeah, you know, a big arsenal. arsenal. And, and at the same time, he was like, look who you have here. You have these teachers that are the best teachers in the world. Mm. And he was like, at the same time, you have guest teachers coming here that don't even like Darren. All these other teachers that are like from Albany, contemporary, modern teachers uh -huh. like Mia Michaels. Because Mia Michaels didn't live there at that time. She was just come in every five months, two months, do work. Mm -hmm. You tice the Oreo. Dice, he taught dice, there. Dice. He taught there for a few months. Guess what? You had all these like amazing, amazing like uh, teachers, Alex Magno, all these like come in once in a while. So he was like, but they were all like jazz contemporary. Uh, Tice is also on also you think you can dance? Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. So he is like, yeah. Mm -hmm. So he was like, he was like, you know, you know, he was like, oh, he made, he, Richard was like, okay, I'll make a deal with you. He was like, if you start taking all these other classes, he goes, what you can do is when you're working, whenever you want to take a class, just jump in, jump out. As long as my studio's clean. Oh, great. You can do what you want. Great, just man. Keep it clean. So at that point, I can it's run. A, it was a yeah, fair deal. Yeah, it was a fair I deal. Run in, I can run into a, a classroom just for the routine and leave. I can go just for the warm up, leave. I can jump in just for 10 minutes and leave. Oh. So I was just like <laughs> jumping in like, all these ballet and all the teachers knew me, so I, I got to do that. You can, you, you need to find me a park with it, right? a Broadway yeah. band, and so then I, I will I try to but then do I, the same. But then I started, but then I started slacking off because I started taking more hip hop classes again. Uh -huh. <laughs> and then Richard and Allison took, took me in the room, and he was like, "Hey, I want you to leave my studio now." <laughs> Damn. Yeah, and I was like, "What?" He goes, "I don't want you here anymore." Oh, and I was like, for what real? Did I, yeah, I was like, "What did I do?" He goes, "Dude, what are you doing?" Fuck. <laughs> And I go, okay, I'm sorry. He goes, one more chance. He goes, take other classes. I'll, I'll make you leave my studio. <laughs> really? That's how much he loved me. Oh, nice, nice. That's how much he loved he, me, he, right? He, almost like a father figure. Yeah, that's how yeah. I loved him. He was, like, he was like, leave my studio, leave my studio. I was like, why? He goes, because you're not following the rules. Leave, I want, you, mm. I want you out of here. Go back home, go back home. <laughs> oh, yeah. slap in your face? Yeah, he was like, go back home. And then, and then I was like, okay. Then I started taking all the other classes. But it was rough because mm -hmm. as a hip hop dancer, like, Going to ballet or contemporary or tap or African, it's like, except for African, that's hip hop and all, I think that's connected. Uh -huh. But for like a hip hop dancer to go into ballet or contemporary, but that level of contemporary and like ballet in New York at that time, it's really difficult because at that time there was, everything was still clicky. Mm -hmm. Not clicky, but it was still like, you know what I mean? So like um, when I first started taking a ballet, I was it was hard, man. Mm -hmm. Ballet it was like hard and jazz too, because I didn't have the technique. I was a hip hop dancer. I didn't know how to count. Different flow, yeah, it's a different flow, feel. Yeah, and hip hop dancers, we it's like it's it's a feeling. It's like really mm -hmm. something. We're not really about. We're not like five, six, seven, eight. Mm. Hip hop dance. We're just it's just it's there. We're choreograph or we're dancing. Boom, boom, kaka, boom, kaka. Yeah, it's just it's <laughs> it's like, we're not we're not used to the five, six, seven. Yeah, eight, yeah, yeah, yeah. Has to be precise. We're ballet. Everything's so technical. So. I, uh, there was a teacher like um, Kat Wilder. She, she was a, she danced with Vershnikov. Vershnikov, uh, yeah, yeah. Mikhail Vershnikov. Mm. Uh, she was uh, one of the star dancers, Ape American Ballet Theater, New York City Ballet. Mm -hmm. She was god in New York at that time. She was a god for like ballet. She was like considered like god golden. She was like Kat mm. Wilder. She was like god <laughs> in the ballet world. In the ballet, world. she was like in her class. I would watch the classes she would give, the advanced classes. There'll be guys in there from New York City Ballet doing 10, 15 pirouettes. <sighs> Jump crazy, like beautiful technical dancers. But then it's hard, man. Yeah, and then so, but she actually had a uh, um, beginner classes too. But during those classes, at times I couldn't take; they were too hard. So, but Cal was like, "You should take these other teachers because they're basic ballet, basic, basic." Mm -hmm. So I started taking it for the other teachers, and then the teachers told me I suck. Oh, yeah, and that I would never make it as a dancer; that I should stick to hip hop. <laughs> yeah. So then, as being young, I stopped. I stopped taking the hip hop classes, and then I stopped taking the jazz classes. Uh huh. Because that comes jazz, and you need that's the same technique. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? And so Cat was gone for a couple of months during workshops in Russia or what. Yeah. And then she came back, and she was like, "How was uh, um how were the uh, you stopped taking ballet?" I go, "Yeah." And she was like, "Why?" I was like, "Cause I suck." They told me I suck. They oh. said I never. Re and she's like, what? And she's out, cats are badass, you know? Mm. And she's like, what the fuck? I'm like, what the Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then um, she was like, oh, this is dumbass. Like, Kat, she wrote a Harley, dude. She was tough. Ooh. Yeah, Kat was like, Kat, yeah, Kat was, if you, yeah, Kat Wilde is like, you should really like, she was amazing. You can find her up probably. Like, she mm -hmm. was, she actually, uh, Alvin Ailey, she was a director, a director of ballet for a while. She was ballet, she's like it. Like, she's, like, yeah. So then I had a box, and um, at the same time I was taking class, I had a box that uh, all the teacher, all the teachers would tell me what to do. Like, hey, uh, I need 
this today? Can you bring chairs today? Can mm -hmm. you bring water? Oh, yeah, yeah. They just they needed certain things. Certain and things, yeah. Yeah, and I, would, I was a janitor, so and then I I saw a note from uh, Kat, and she was like, it was a a schedule. Uh -huh. Like I'm gonna give you privates, um, at six a.m. Mm. before my class. You know, uh, we'll we we'll, we we'll meet like two three times a week. Um, and she was like, I'll give you a private. And she was like, if you miss one time, it's done. Oh. And she goes, I'm not going to charge it, you. I'm not going to. 6 a.m.? 6 a.m., yeah. Cause, yeah, she was like, because that was the only time studios were free. Oh. And she was like, I'll give you privates. But she goes, if you're late one day, <laughs> it's done. Uh, we, we did that for like two what years. What the deal? We did. She worked with me for like two years. Mm -hmm. Two years, dude, uh, with her. Two years, she, and, she, and she brought me. She brought she brought in other dancers to work with me. Uh, she brought like uh, like she she basically trained me. And in, in, told you this is the movie yeah, story. She, she this trained, is the movie story. She, she trained me in like in like that ballet world, or just she trained me to work. And and she actually was the best teacher I ever had mm -hmm, in, mm -hmm. in, in any kind of form. Not just not talking about ballet, hip hop. She was the best teacher I had for dance. You know what I mean? Because all that, because because hip hop dancers would take her class too, because she was like, amazing. but she she taught me how to like be comfortable with doing things I cannot do, mm -hmm. and work on things I cannot do, mm -hmm. and not be afraid to work on things I cannot do. To mm. go into a studio and not just do the stuff I can do, because most dancers when they're training, they go into a studio, they do the same crap mm. when they're alone. Mm -hmm, they do mm -hmm. the stuff they can already do, the stuff that they look good at. Of course, of good. course. Uh -huh. Where me comfort zone, comfort, comfort zone. zone. Where yeah. me, I learn to go into a studio and work more on what I can't do, even if I can't, I can't do mm -hmm. the splits. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I can't do the splits. I can't even hold my leg up high. But I'm in there stretching and doing ballet when I'm working on ballet. Yes, I'm doing, yes, yes, I'm yes, doing yes, the yes. technique. She taught me that. She taught, and mm -hmm. she taught me to to uh, let dance ch choose you because mm -hmm, mm -hmm. dance chose me to where I, I wasn't afraid of it. Mm. Where a lot of dancers, I, they're afraid of dance by not taking other things, or they'll they're, they'll see something they cannot do, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. so they kind of like lose that comfort zone. Where she she trained me to like love that. Because she but was like, you need she, to be she, next to She's something. like uh, putting you uh, in the center of the fire. Yeah, you know? she was like, you need to stand next to these dancers that are better than you. And she was like, and I was like, why? Because most dancers always, she goes, be right next to them, be next to them, because you need to learn how to outshine, outshine them when mm. they have more technique than you. Mm. You cannot kick here, uh -huh, you uh -huh. cannot jump there. Dance right next to them and see what you can do. Mm. To great. To, to, to shine. Mm. You know what I mean? Because like, at that time, you know, she was like, just. Do what you could do. So I would take in ballet. I was taking class, and I would stand next to the people. Like when they're kicking, I can only kick here. But I got to the point where I wasn't afraid anymore. You yeah. know what I mean? And then, and then, and then at the same, and at the weird thing, that ballet class helped me with hip hop. Mm -hmm. Of course, it's because naturally because it, it helped me breathe. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It helped me breathe. At the same time, it got me bored with hip hop mm -hmm. because it made me want more. Because I had all this other training in my yes, head. Yes, but uh, the, the all that uh, different uh, 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 dancing styles yeah. uh, helped you helped to develop to, your hip hop. Hip hop, yeah. Yes. It to yes. Hip -hop, and it helped me to be to become the dancer I became with when I started mm -hmm. working with Red Hot Chili Pepper and, mm -hmm, and Lincoln, mm -hmm. all those artists I worked. It, I got to the point where I, I developed the style that that dance chose me for. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? And it was because of her, because she really like. She really trained me, and like she came up. First thing she said, she was like, "You know, you're never gonna be a ballet dancer. Mm. Never. You're never gonna be a jazz dancer." She goes, "Never gonna be." She goes, uh, "She goes, you don't have the body." But you can mix stuff. You know, yeah, you don't you have the body. Stuff. Yeah, she was like, "You don't have the body for a, a ballet dancer. You don't have the the facility for like that strong technique." And she goes, "But I can, I can, I, I can teach you how to just dance mm. to feel comfortable with your body to learn to just." Feel comfortable with things. So we wish she taught me like just breathing, position, stature, mm -hmm. like all that, she, and she the motion. Just like she taught me like all that, and she did that for a while. And then I went, and then finally the jazz. There was this jazz jazz teacher uh, I didn't get along with, and um, that was one of the jazz teachers that was like, you know, you suck. <laughs> yeah. And then, like <laughs> a few years later, I went back to that class, and I was better than the teacher. Mm. I went to that class. I was like, I was like, I was waiting because Cat mm. Wilders was like the best. Revenge and dance is success, mm. right? Yes, best yes, yes. Is, best revenge is success. Of course, of course, yeah. of course. So I, went back, I went back to that class, and I was better than the teacher. You know, I, uh, I look was what like, I do. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And then, and then, um, and then, and then I just started like uh, 
taking then I, at that point I got to take I, I was comfortable with myself so I was taking mm -hmm. I was taking everything hip hop ballet at that point with Richard he was like okay you do what you want from now yeah yeah for now and then and then at one point I uh, I started uh, I started you know Rockefeller and Quickstep the b boy the boy Rockefeller yes 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 yeah, from the Quickstep yeah yeah the, the, the Garcia yeah yeah of no one no no the Quickstep and the, the yeah the Rockefeller the, 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 the wife the wife yeah the b yeah. girl of the year yeah yeah yes yeah. yes I know her <laughs> yeah 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 he 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 was he danced for like with Will Smith. Yes, 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 yes. We like, have a yeah, on golden. Facebook and we, we chat from time yeah, to time. They're golden, right? Yes, yeah, yes, yeah. yes. They're old school. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, at one point, like um, like <laughs> my chips <laughs> again. Yeah, Rockefeller and Cruz, like in um um, but uh, all that the uh, b boy world. Uh, uh -huh, um, uh -huh. Yeah, well, they had Rockefeller and Crookstep. They had a, a basic uh, hip hop class, mm -hmm. a basic uh, footwork of breaking, popping, locking, all the stuff like that. Because they were, I mean, they were really yeah. Young. Quick is great. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Dion is something. Dion. Yeah, Dion, is... yeah, Dion. And then they're and they're uh, and they're associated with Rock City Crew. And all yeah, that. So yeah. they're from that whole mm. hardcore like. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, street. Michael Chambers, Brother Lushram, oh, my best. That yeah, one. Late yeah, Late Shabadoo. Yeah, it's Late Shabadoo. They're, they're from that word of the whole yes, pop, yes, 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 pop yes. scene. Because a lot of people like a lot of hip hop dancers, they know about popping, but they don't know about ticking. Mm. But they don't know about ticking, right? They just know popping. They, yeah, they don't. So they were they were teaching like basic basic knowledge mm. of hip hop, like mm. culture of hip hop, mm. the breaking pop. So I was always taking taking their classes. Mm. And then uh, one year, and then one time, it was one year uh, they left. They had to go for, away for like oh, two months or something. And then uh -huh. Allison, and at that point, I I think I was becoming a dancer at that time. Mm. At that point, I was I I was dancing. I was I, I it, it was in me. It was in me, you know. And I had a, a I, I, the, from the training. I noticed I noticed that you're a complete dancer because uh, yeah. of your variety of, yeah. of stuff. Yeah, and I had Laurie Kanyak. Uh, there's a teacher called actually for hip hop. Like when I was started hip hop, uh, Bev Bev B and um, Darren Henson. They were mm -hmm. the they were the Darren they were the ones I really like knowledge me and trained me in that and from becoming a street dancer on Broadway? Uh, no, becoming a street dancer uh -huh. to just actually becoming a classroom dancer of hip hop of learning choreography. Bev B, because Bev B was was really uh, very like the top hip hop teacher at that time. And then Darren Henson is well he choreographed for Michael he danced mm -hmm. with Michael Jackson. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. He choreographed Love Don't Cost a Thing. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, yes, yes. Britney Spears and in sync. Our mutual on. friend Gio was Gio worked with him. Yeah, worked with him. In and that then, video, and Darren, yeah, and Darren, Darren Henson, he, chore he, he, yeah, bing, bing. he choreographed. <laughs> he choreographed Britney Spears when she came out. Baby, mm. hit me, baby, one more time. One more time. He was her choreographer. Yeah, big and name. He, and he big choreographed. Name. He actually choreographed Bye 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 in sync. Bye, oh, bye, bye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was like Bye 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 Bye. bye. He choreographed that. He choreographed. Uh, Jimmy in a bottle, Christina Aguilera. Aguilera, great he stuff. He great. was like, oh, he's Darren, Hans Darren Henson. He choreographed like, yeah, he's he was God. He was the first. Yeah, I think, yeah, yeah. I think he was the first, one of the first dancers to ever win a choreography award for MTV Award of choreography. I think he was mm -hmm. the first dancer to win that. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Maybe it was with Tima Robinson. I don't know. But um, but he was he was they were the they were them two were the. The so uh, uh, that's what you get for uh, living on Broadway. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> they were, yeah they were Darren Henson, Darren Henson, and, and Bev, and Rick Quickstep and Rockefeller, and the mm -hmm. um, and the people I met with them. They were the ones that actually the hip hop world culture like that that brought me and trained me into mm -hmm. learning more about that the control of hip hop and that mm -hmm. with jazz. It was Lori Kanyak and uh, Sandra mm -hmm. Bonita. <laughs> but Lori, yeah, Sandra Bonita trained, but there was a teacher called Laura Kanak. That was the greatest teacher I've ever had in my Great. life. She was like the most beautiful jazz dancer. Her her, her trainer was Alex Magno. Alex Magno choreographed Madonna's Girly Tour, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and Alex Magno choreographed mm -hmm. Michael Jackson. Actually, if you watch um, the, you know Michael Jackson video Blood on the Dance Floor, uh -huh, uh -huh. he's in the video with uh, Jamie King and all the top mm -hmm. dancers in the world. Yes, 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 yes. But he's that's how he was Alex Magno. He had a I noticed yeah. that uh, lots of Madonna's dancers been at, in, in the, the Blood on the Dance Floor. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, that, a lot, uh, yeah, yeah. Asian guy. Asian guy, yeah, 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 yeah. Kevin, Kevin, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Kevin, yeah. <laughs> great, great, great. I know great. all of them, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, sure. Yeah, yeah and, I started, and then I started, and I, they taught me, uh, I learned a lot of jazz from them. They taught me a lot, and Slam actually taught me a lot. Slam was a Madonna's dancer. Uh -huh. The beautiful one in the Vogue video, the, you know, mm -hmm. Truth or Dare, mm -hmm. the okay. documentary, he was the gorgeous guy, mm -hmm. uh, because mm -hmm. he was the one who, like, taught me, like, because when I, I started taking jazz and ballet, it was, uh, I had a problem with just being comfortable as a man, because uh -huh, uh -huh. I saw these feminine routines, uh -huh, uh -huh. and I can't, 
Mm, At that point, it was like you know, mm-hmm. and then but here's Sam, the most he's you know he's gay, and openly, <laughs> openly gay, so I can say openly gay. Really, yeah. But he's the when he dances, you don't he just looks like a man. Like, yeah, yeah. So he was you like don't notice. You he don't notice, taught yeah. me how to just just feel comfortable in that because mm-hmm, that's mm-hmm. something I was always not a even to the till this day. It's sometimes mm-hmm. it's uncomfortable to do some feminine. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. That's that's just not my world. Yeah, yeah, that's it's beautiful. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. That's yeah, yeah. Just not my that's not my world. So I got all and then ballet was cat. Wildish, uh, Peter Shaw, oh God, I got so many greats. But I had all these teachers that really, really helped me. And, but so basically, back to Quick Step, uh, they left, and then Allison was like, I'm going to have you sub their classes while they're gone. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And I was like, what? He goes, I want you to teach their classes while they're gone. I go, I don't teach popping, locking. I, I, that's uh, just, who told you that? The owner, Allison owner. Uh-huh, owner uh-huh. of Broadway Dancer. She was like, but they also bring uh, uh, people who, who, who teach that uh, Yeah, well, they had, cause they had, well, they had, uh, they, they had their... Regular at Broadway Dance Center, what you do is you have all the teachers. They have, they have hundreds of teachers, but they have their regular classes like Monday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, mm-hmm. three. Most teachers teach three times a week or four or five times a week. But Rockefeller and Quick, I think every Tuesdays and Thursdays they had that class. Mm-hmm. And then Allison asked me, you know, I want you to sub it. I think they were, she was just doing me a favor. You know what I mean? Uh-huh, like, yeah, because uh-huh. they loved me. Like, and then I you was, try a little bit be boing. Yeah, I can do. Yeah, I took uh-huh. that class. I could. I can do a little. I knew the basics, but I can't. Uh-huh. I can't do, like, yeah, no. I, and so I, because they taught the b boy class. Of course, yeah, of course. Yeah, so I took that for a long time. I learned like you know, basic breaking, basic basic, pop, basic popping, locking. I learned all that. But then popping and all that, I learned in the streets already. Mm-hmm. But the classroom environment helped me just develop it. Uh-huh, uh-huh. You know what I mean too. So. She was like, I want you to teach that class. And I was like, that's disrespectful. I cannot, I'm not that good. Uh-huh. I'm not, I don't have that re- reputation of that street to teach basic. I go, even she was like, yeah, but it's basic. Uh-huh. I go, it doesn't matter. It's like respect. I go, I can't, I'm not going to, then my name is associated with them. I go, like, no way, no way, uh, no yes. way. I go, get somebody, I understand. Get, I understand. Somebody, get somebody better. I go, I'm not, I, I knew I was like, I'm not that, mm-hmm. that's, you know, that's, Basic that this is the culture of breaking in hip hop. Yes, yes, yes. You're yes, gonna yes. throw me in, <laughs> like uh, I'm gonna be like uh, rappers delight. The group wasn't even really rappers. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> you know that whole story? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Being like Sugar Hill Gang. <laughs> mm. You know what I mean? Rapper hip hop. Yeah. So then um, she was like, okay, we'll just we'll just call it. We we'll just put your name. I'm just gonna put your name. Not associated with them. Teaching like a uh, basic. Uh, Basic uh, hip hop jazz. Mm-hmm. Okay, I was like, okay, that's fine. So uh, she put my name. Was well, I didn't know that was gonna change my life too? Because uh-huh. so she did uh, Jose class every Tuesday thirty. He's gonna teach basic hip hop jazz. So uh, for like two months, I taught that, and then at the end, uh, I had a meeting with her, Allison, and she was like, "Yeah, you're not gonna be the uh, janitor no more." And I thought, like, I thought I got fired. Uh huh. Like, what did I do wrong? I go, "Oh my god." I was like, I was like, what? Well, I have to go. And she was like, no, she you're give not. you a new job. Like, you're gonna be the, the you're, those are your time slots. You're gonna be my team. My team. But at that time, <laughs> see, yeah, yeah. But at that time, Broadway dancer, you got paid per student. Mm-hmm. You got paid like five, four, five, six bucks per student. But it was at that time before the whole COVID. Uh, during that time. You could have from like fifty to one hundred and twenty people in class. Mm. So you make good money teaching two days. We can make like six hundred dollars per week. Uh, per week and just two classes. Ooh, nice. Yeah, because you get paid per student. If you have fifty people in, in class and you're getting three bucks, that's one hundred fifty bucks. Right? You know what I mean? You can make like three, yeah. You would. You know. So I, and then so she so she gave me that class, and then I started you know teaching uh, my my hip hop jazz you know jazz class and stuff. Which was good because she was like hip hop jazz because she knew I do jazz, and so I started teaching. But I, I and I started getting really popular because the music I used was rock. Mm-hmm. I, I didn't use hip hop. I always mm-hmm. used this like, The Doors, mm-hmm. Jimi Hendrix, mm-hmm. uh, you know, Corn, you know, like this rock music, like really rock music. So I, I, I got pretty popular, and then the owner Richard was like, "Okay, you need a resume because uh-huh, uh-huh. you, you know, Broadway dancing, you have the thing, your mm-hmm. photo, your class." And but you like, were new at the business. But I was new. I go, I don't, yeah. I don't have any resume. Right Nobody knows who that is. We made I one. Yeah, he was, yeah, yeah. He was, yeah. He was like, we're going to make you one. He goes, you need, a, you need a resume. You need to start teaching workshops. You need to start. Um, did it. He goes, you know, I'm going to, um, I, I got you a, um, a job to uh, uh, do a photo shoot for some, um, some dance shoot, whatever. And he goes, you know, they'll get you from headshot photos and, you know, you make some money. And I was like, oh, thank you, Richard. Oh my God, like, yeah. yeah. So we did a photo shoot on top of Broadway Dance Center. I think nothing of it, you know what I mean? And then a few months later, like, this is Richard's love for me. A few uh-huh. months later, all these dancers were coming up to me 
like, and teacher is like, oh, wow, nice ad. Nice mm, ad, nice great. ad, nice ad. I'm like, what are they talking about? Like, nice ad, what, what is that, nice ad? And then, like uh, advertising? Yeah, uh -huh. basically, nice yeah. ad. And I was like, I don't even know what they're talking about. And then, <laughs> yeah, and then Kat- and You then didn't Kat, know the language. Yeah, and then Kat Wildish just come in, came in and she was like, wow, I'm proud of you. And I was like, what are they talking about? She was like, and, I, and it was Dan, Dan's favorite magazine. Yeah, yeah. And she goes, turn it over, turn it over. And it was me. Uh, for, for Block, you know, Block and Capizio, the dance shoes. They're Block at that time. Uh, Block, I Google it. Yeah, I Google it. Block yeah. and Capizio at that time were the biggest manufacturers of dance mm. shoes in the world. Mm -hmm. Like they're the fame, they're God. Like mm -hmm. you, every single dance magazine, it was all, always Block and Capizio. They were the number one. They were it. Yeah, dance shoes, dance shoes. They yes. were dance shoes or dance wear. Dance, they were it. And so I was on the back cover for Block. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Nice. So Richard got that from me for like, come on, who am I? To yeah, be on the yeah, cover yeah. of every single dance magazine in the world. So for four years, four years, I was on every single dance, ma every single dance magazine in the world. Yeah, but he helped was, you, you yeah, know, to, I was to either, jump in. I was either on the back page, or I was on the front page, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Or, or I was in the in the in, in the middle. In section. the middle, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So then people started assuming I can dance. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Assuming I was some big deal. Big deal, what, dude. I was still learning. I was, <laughs> I wasn't not like this. You were I, still in the process. I was still in the process. <laughs> Becoming like, damn, I was, because at that point, I was okay. I wasn't good enough to be in a magazine. So then I, after that, I just started getting offered all these jobs. Nice. And I was like, Richard, I go, I'm not good enough to, mm. I'm not good enough for this. I go, what was your first job? My first job your first was gig. Block. <laughs> block. Uh-huh. Oh, but yeah. I mean, uh, uh, artists. First job, oh, first, actually, first job, actually, my first, first dance job was dancing at a wedding. Oh. Uh -huh. Yeah, uh, there's a, and you ever heard of Manhattan Dance Project? And in, in uh, California, there's a. It's called Manhattan Dance Project. It's. Uh -huh. uh, it was. It's considered at that time. It was well, actually now too. It's considered one of the the best. The, it was a, one of the first dance workshops traveling uh, in USA. It was considered. Uh -huh. It was a, one of. The, it was the biggest. It was. It was it. It was like mm -hmm. like what they did is from from uh, from from September uh -huh. till June. Every weekend, they would uh, have workshops around the USA. Mm -hmm. Every weekend, mm -hmm. and sometimes in three cities, different. So every weekend, there's workshops from September. People, that's how dancers make their living, because every weekend for a year you're on a plane making money, uh -huh. teaching Saturday. Like you know that, that yeah. So the owner of it, uh, I became friends with, and he had a wedding, and he um, they wanted him to uh, choreograph a dance couple for the wedding, and that was my first job with Bill. Great, <laughs> Bill Hotel. Yeah, he gave me my first dance job, and Bill at that time was. He was the owner and director of Manhattan Dance Project. Mm, that was like, nice. Yeah. Uh, but I know that uh, you're a dance with like uh, Limp Bizkit, Korn, Evan Sands, Linky Park, Prodigy, Marilyn Manson, Red Hat, Chili Peppers, and on and on. So yeah. what, what was the, 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 the best gig that you... Yeah. Uh, well, my first, my first one, my first one was, 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 remember. With, was with Korn. Uh -huh. when, I, when, I, when I became, when I first started dancing, I, I, I was teaching, I love when I started doing a lot of workshops and then it was mm -hmm. time to like... Uh, to, to like uh, become a dancer, mm -hmm. not just teaching. Did you have uh, head manager at that time? No, no. Uh -huh. I didn't know. So, uh, uh, yeah, I didn't have a manager. Hook you up with the, the jobs. I, yeah, I didn't have a manager at that time, and then I, at one point I got to uh, a, a point where uh, Darren Hanson, Darren, mm -hmm. Darren, Darren, um, Golden Darren Hanson. Yeah, 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 yeah. The choreographer, Golden Darren Hanson, choreographer. Bye, bye, bye. Yes, uh, yes, yes, yes. Big shot. Love Don Costa, the MTV love, award. Like he's mm -hmm. like you know, he choreographed. Actually, he choreographed Tom Cruise and uh, the Tropical Thunder, where he did the movie where he's dancing. Ah, yeah, he ah, and, he, and he actually was in the. Uh, yeah, he's just Darren Henson. He's like everyone mm -hmm. in the world knows. Everyone. Great, great, great. If you're great. a dancer, you need to know him because he was the one that hired him. Choreographed Britney Spears. He made Britney Spears. I mean, he was like you know, and uh, he was like you know, like what do you want to do? And I was like, well, you know, I I, I don't like pop. Sorry, <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't like that whole. I just that's not me. I don't like. I like, kind of, like pop. I like the music just style, just the pop style, style. just the Jennifer mm -hmm. Lopez, music style, Beyonce, pop. all that. Uh -huh. I just don't like. That's just not me. Mm -hmm. I love the choreography. I love the. Mm -hmm. I love all that. You know, but not that uh, music style. Ariana Grande, all that. Before, mm -hmm. Actually, this is before. This is like the Britney Spears and all that. That's just wasn't me. Mm -hmm. That mm -hmm. just that's just. I love dance. Dance chose me, but it didn't chose me for that. Uh -huh. That wasn't. I don't, that's not me. It, mm -hmm. wasn't, it was not me. And at that time, that's all that there was out there. Mm -hmm. All that time, during the time when I first started working, all that was out there was dancing for like Britney Spears. So you, you f mostly focused on, on, on teaching? 
uh, instead I of the, yeah, like, I the gigs. I teaching because I didn't, I didn't know about that world, about that, you know, that dance world dance. I knew dancers from that world, from mm-hmm, the video, mm-hmm. of course, sure. yes. from videos, yes, 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 from yes, yes, like, yes, yes, you know, yes. car, dancing for like uh, Michael Jackson, dancing for like Prince, dancing mm. for Jennifer Lopez, dance for, I knew all those, you know, Destiny Child at the mm. time. I, I know all those dancers because they came in out of Broadway Dance Center. I know that, I knew that world. I love that world, that touring world. It was beautiful, but I didn't like that music. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So I really, so how did you manage? Yeah, so then I talked to Darren and he was like, well, what do you want to do? And I was like, I want to do this. And basically, he was like, that's impossible. They don't have dancers. That's not a, that's not a, they don't, I don't know. He goes, I would help you. I just don't know how, you know, they don't help me. So basically, I don't even know if he remembers this, but basically, he helped me. Uh (laughs) Without, he got me in touch with somebody. I sent them a videotape of me dancing to corn. Uh-huh. You know, I don't think Darren even knows this, but it was he actually. So you sometimes chose, dancers were like he was like, hey, chose, I'll, hook, uh, I'll hook you up. Here's other a, styles, here's music, a, here's like rock, con- and everything. Yeah, because at the time Darren was uh, he was he was choreographing for, at the same time Darren was choreographing for Jennifer Lopez, uh, Britney Spears, and and Sync, and working with uh, Christina Aguilera all at that same mm. time. So he was it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think he got he got me in touch with uh, one of the lawyers. Of corn, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. which he just he he probably didn't even know. <laughs> he just introduced me to someone in that walk world in the music industry that knew someone that knew that kind of music, and he was like, and he so I sent them a tape. Um, then they saw it, and then they were in New York doing a gig, and they asked me to dance for them at that mm-hmm, at, the, mm-hmm. at that gig. They were in New York for like three dates, and they were like they they liked what I did. And I, that, my first, that I danced was with Corn. I did three nice. days. I did three, nice. three things with Corn. And then, Corn's really good friends with Limp Biscuit. Limp Biscuit. Fred Durst. Yeah, yeah, actually, Fred Durst. Yeah, yeah, roll, yeah. Roll, yeah. Roll, yeah. Roll, actually, Fred, Fred Durst actually was. Uh, he had a record label. He was actually Fred Durst was uh, working as a lab, record label uh, head before he became Limp Biscuit. Mm-hmm. He worked as he produced. He was a record. He record producer. Yeah. Yeah, record producer. He had, you know, he had, and then that's how he became. And then Biscuit and stuff. So he was he was there, and then uh, I met him, and then he asked me to dance for some tourists for Olympus. Biscuit. And then Fred, and then Fred actually at that time Olympus Biscuit was really like uh, big, fun, big. It was very, popular, very, yeah, big, yeah, very big. It was like big. And then and then he um he was that whole world was where I needed to be because that's my thing. And he mm-hmm. was he knew. Lincoln Park, right? They were that rock world. That's where mm-hmm. I belong. Yes, 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 That's yes, where yes. I belong. Yeah, and so Fred Durst, um, he introduced me. He got my name out to that world. Yes, of course, and of then, course. And then once they saw what I did, then they realized, okay, because when I was dancing on tour, when I was touring with them, when I was dancing with these artists, it wasn't like I was a backup dancer. It, uh-huh. was, it was just me. Mm-hmm. I would come out on the song breaks mm-hmm. on stage on top of the speaker, but I would do my thing. I would mm-hmm. be dressed. I would not. Were you any, wearing anything glittery? Uh-huh. I would be in a flannel, mm. a beanie. I would not even have a wardrobe, dude. I just come oh. out with whatever I'm wearing, like this. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because it's like awesome. it's, it's that world. It's that awesome. world. Yes, 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 yes. It's yes. that world. I didn't need anything flashy. If I did, it'd be mm. stupid. It wouldn't fit. Plus, yeah, of course. Yeah. So I would sometimes I would come out with a skateboard and just play around with the skateboard and dancing on with the skateboard flipping in. Plus, I did ballet and jazz. Uh huh. So you did I, it solo? Yeah, with yeah, the no solo. crew? No, no, just me. Just oh. me. I would, yeah, I would, just me. I would jump on top of the speaker. I would get up there, start doing hip hop. Then when the slower sounds come up, I would start doing like kind of fusion jazz. I would just do my Jazz-ish, thing. Do my yeah. thing. Yeah, jazz. And then so they started seeing that I I I adapt to the different. Because all the songs in rock, they're like that. It's always changing because they can do slow. So, yeah. so I can, with the training I had in the ballet and the jazz, I can mix the hip hop mm. and do that cool kind of like thing. So then I started doing that and then I started getting a good reputation for Great. that. Plus, Great. At the, plus at the same time, what I did was a novelty. I, I was like a prop. Mm. Yes. You know what I mean, I was basically yes, a yes, dance yes, prop. Yes, yes. They would just throw him there. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. So basically I would come out on, you know, all, every music has their breaks. Of course, of course. Yeah, the breaks. So basically, I would come out during the breaks because a lot of times these rock acts and all them they don't dance. They're not. That's not that kind of world. Yes, they just yes, dance yes, there, yes, but yes. They have that break where nothing's going on. Mm. So I would be during that break. I would come out nice, on that nice, part, nice, and I would nice, give nice, the audience nice. something to see, something to feel. Something. Of so course, that was, of course. I was never on when they're singing. I was mm. always like during the breaks, and so I, I did, and then and then I, I I learned with Darren. You know, Darren taught me about this. You know. Staging, mm-hmm. um, how to like stand back, not over, 
yourself because you're working on stage. Mm -hmm. You have to learn how to back off because mm. you're a prop. Oh. You know what I mean? Yes, it's, yes, it's, yes, yeah, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, because it's your prop. You're, he, was, he was like, you're a dancing prop. You're a prop. You need to know where to go. You don't need to like, you know, it's them. It's not you. Mm. You know what I mean? But at the same time, it's you because you're giving, you're working with them. You're part of the show. Mm -hmm, know where mm -hmm. you fit in. Know how to, your angles. No upstage, no downstage. Mm -hmm. Know when to not overdo. Yes, 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 when, yes, yes. And at the same time, he goes, you know, don't, don't make a fool of yourself. Because yeah. there's certain things you you know he was like and so he, don't steal the show <laughs> yeah 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 don't, he was like you know know how to do that that you know because he was like Darren's like it's a whole different making a video and all that and teaching and all that and dancing on tour and dancing there are three different worlds mm -hmm. you know in my world I like the touring I don't I you don't see me in videos I would never do that that wasn't my touring just being in front of the audience and just mm. being part of that song not the music the song being part of the, being part of the music not dancing and showing up just being part of that song yeah, 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 just yeah. adding to that song just being part of that 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 rush i that's what i love that's why there's Great. not so many that's why there's not so many videos of me dancing you don't see anything of me uh -huh, uh -huh. yeah because you know my agent has to all those because you're on tour you're not with your friend you're dancing people are doing this hard yeah, 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 yeah. film you <laughs> 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 Yeah. It's a quite different energy. Right, it's quite right, different right, energy. You know what I mean? Rock guys are like, oh, yeah, 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 I'm throwing yeah, yeah. beer in it. So I, I started, so then Fred, you know, I started learning. That was my thing, my tour. I would tour with the, these artists. And and then I started, and what was cool is I started through Darren, because uh -huh, Darren, uh -huh. he, he changed my life. Really. Of course. Yes. He, he got me introducing to... Uh, through that whole music festival thing, because when uh -huh. Darren, Darren introduced, introduced um, I forgot his name, but the one, uh -huh. uh, I think his name was, I, uh, I don't know, but he was like the one that really helped me with getting in that. He um, got me into, uh, not Darren, but the guy, and Darren got me into uh, in music festivals, which mm -hmm. that's a whole other world of dancing, which a lot of dancers don't know about. When you're when there's a music festival, they have like all these bands. You know, it's mm -hmm. a three-day music festival. You have a hundred bands. Like right now in September, I'm gonna dance at the. Um, the Governor's Ball in New York uh -huh, in September, uh -huh. and on stage is Billy Eilish, uh -huh, uh -huh. AS Rock, AS Rock uh, Megan Thee Stallion. I mean, if you, you see it on, you saw. Yes, it. yes, 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 yes. All yes. these bands, all these. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got hooked up and I, with these music festivals through him, where they use me as a prop. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I became a prop because <laughs> all these songs have these breaks. So what happens is they'll have meetings with these dance with all the bands and said, okay, we have this for you. You just want the end place stage to be empty because sometimes they bring their own shit uh -huh, uh -huh. they bring their own stuff Most yes, they, yes, bring, yes, yes, yes. they bring their own props but sometimes these bands are like i don't want to bring anything or i or i just you know what do you have mm. we have this they would be oh we have this dancer that can adapt to your if you want to have them so the dan the bands would choose and they always choose yes so yes, they yes, see yes. these videos of me because they uh -huh, have uh -huh. them and like oh this is cool we can have them come in nice, so, nice, that, nice. so then that's 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 how I started getting into music festivals, like nice. dancing, which that's my favorite because you nice. go there, you have no idea who you're gonna dance for. Oh, yeah, until you get there. Like uh, 2008 was the last time I did the Governor's Ball. I was with Eminem for one song. Great. Yeah, I just Great. came out there. And, uh, one song came out, and I was like, and then uh, Jack White. Oh, Jack White's got. Yeah, yeah. You just come out. They want during this thing. It's kind of you know. So I got into that, and that that was my whole world. That was my whole dance world. So I started. Great. And then, yeah. So music, but music festivals I love. But when I was dancing with like Red Hot Chili Mary, like all those, yeah, it was like I was like I was a prop, uh -huh, uh -huh. which was the, which I wanted to be. I was I was like a novelty. But Great. I got to dance and I got to choreograph myself and I got to just create because it wasn't like I didn't have to do the same thing every night. Mm. I could always change things. Nice. Always, nice but nice. I always choreograph because freestyling I'm not good at. Uh -huh, uh -huh. I'm not good at freestyle. I can't. Mm. I can't freestyle worth anything. Mm. I'm like, that's, so, a, that's a gift. Uh, let's go on the another chapter. Oh. Uh, you extended your stay uh, here in, in Serbia. Not extended. Uh, I'll, I'll, not on purpose, not but on purpose, uh, you cold, didn't because, have a choice. <laughs> yeah, extended because I wanted to hang out. <laughs> you didn't have a choice. And do this interview and all. Because of COVID, the whole yes, thing, yes, COVID yes. Thing but uh, yeah. this is not the first time that you here in no, no, no. First time was Serbia a, was a couple of years. Years ago, Varshats. Varshats. The Varshats. Varshats. Yeah, Varshats. Yeah. You know, I've uh, been there so many times. I should know the name. Of course. Sorry. Uh, it's a little bit difficult for your tongue. Yeah, you know. That was the first but time. I also noticed that you travel uh, through whole Balkans, like Croatia, Bulgaria, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, Serbia, and yeah, I've been lots everywhere. of yeah, Russia, stuff. I've been to like, uh, God, I've been to like all over Europe, like Paris, Rome, mm. Italy. Great. Uh, Cro yeah, Croatia, uh, Bulgaria. Um, 
Amsterdam. Yeah, uh, yeah. What was the, the, the idea to, to, to come in, in Serbia and Balkans and, uh, and how you managed that uh, stuff and uh, who First invited time? you and, and like uh, how you even uh, 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 how you got your idea to, to, to come in, in Serbia? Serbia. <laughs> the first time was... Not many know. <laughs> yeah. Where, so where's, where's that? The first time I, I came here in Serbia, oh God, it was through a lady named Oya. She had the Varshats comp big uh -huh. competition. It was huge. It was like... And she invited me, but I think at that time, I don't know where I was. I think it was probably in... You came directly from the States? No, no. I was, no. In, I was in Italy. Uh -huh, or, uh -huh. I was, or I was in... Uh, Croatia. I think it was in Italy. Cause I, I would think it was. In, yeah, I think it was in Italy. Or you know, maybe it was, maybe it was in Paris, in Paris, or I don't even remember. Okay. I, okay. I had a, um, I had a, a girlfriend. Uh -huh. uh, we were together for like three years. Oh, great. And uh, maybe four years. But she was, she was a uh, banker, but she lived in Amsterdam. Oh. Uh -huh. And um, so for every, uh, every three two months, I, I would fly for four years. I would fly. Oh, back and forth, back and forth. Was the love, she, man? Yeah, was yeah, the yeah. love? And she lived in Paris too. At that point, it was like Paris. So I would, every three months, I would travel back and forth, back and forth. So when I was in Amsterdam, I would teach a lot at the universities. Uh huh. The Great. Cold Great. Art. And then Paris, I would teach. And I think through that, I think that's I was in Italy. Maybe I think I was probably in Italy <laughs> teaching during that time because I was working with Toronto Danza uh, 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 in the universe, some universities in Italy. Because my girlfriend, like my girlfriend mm -hmm. at the time, so yes. I think I think it was through Toronto Dance. Toronto Dance is a huge like workshop. They have like Yanni Marshall, Brian mm -hmm. Friedman. I taught at that workshop. It's an amazing workshop in Italy. But I think it was during that time, and she invited me to come to Varshats and judge and teach. And mm -hmm. so I came to first time I came to Varshats, mm -hmm. uh, I and I for that festival for that, and then I left back. Mm -hmm. you know, but it was the first time I really liked Varshats. Really nice, first time, nice. First time I, ever, I didn't go to Belgrade. The first time uh -huh. I ever came to your came here was Varshats. Yeah. I didn't go yeah. to Belgrade. I didn't see anything. I never knew. I didn't even know what Belgrade was. Uh -huh, uh -huh. I didn't even know like. And then I did that. I, that was the first time I was ever in, you know. And then I left. And then she invited me again mm. the year after. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And so I came back again. And then this. And then she invited me to stay longer. Oh, like, great. For, I stayed in Varshats for like, I think it was November. I stayed for like three weeks, uh -huh. a month. And she organized all these workshops for me um, this time over uh, in, in Serbia. Like yes, in yes, 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 yes. Uh, and different, and in, in Romania and in. Uh, um, Niche? No? No, 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 no. no. At that, that time it was like this Belgrade, uh, uh, Varshats, uh, Panchevo, Panchevo, Panchevo at that time, and then some other. Uh, Montenegro is it Montenegro? What's it, what's close to here? Or no, no, no. It sounds it's, like Montenegro. It's, 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 it's or Montenegro. Like, it's like what's the other different one? state? They, they sound the same to me. Montenegro and Ma something else. I don't know. Uh, never mind. Never but mind. So. She, she organized. She organized that, and then I came for that, and then and then I. That's and I, you come much often, like uh, you know, I, I on and off. Once a year, I came for that. Oh, great! Yeah, I came for that, and then um, and then. Uh, one time I was I was in uh, Croatia uh -huh. and I met some friends, really really good friends. I know, uh, like uh, uh, Željko Božić, uh, Elvis El Rock, Elvis, yeah, Elvis, yeah, 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 from Dance Star. I danced. I, I know yeah. this because I, I watched on your, your Facebook yeah, yeah, page. Yeah, yeah. I, I, try I, to I, catch I up. Them, I met them through Dance Star. I was the judge for Dance Star. Mm -hmm. and I nice. Nice, for nice, Dance nice, is huge. Yes, yes, oh, God, yes, 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 yes. But I did Dance Star for a few years. And I met all those. Yeah, that dance star was it's god, it's like fifty thousand dancers at the world final. It's insane. Mm. That, oh, and then uh, and then I was uh, in in Croatia, and then my friends, they were I, most of my friends are not dancers. Uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, and um, they were like um, they were in Belgrade, mm, and nice. I and I had some time free. That's when it happened this time. So <laughs> so, so then, uh, you've been before in Belgrade? No, 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 just teaching. Just when she organized that workshop. Uh, but uh, you've been uh, before COVID. Before COVID, uh, to I was just teaching. 2019. Uh, I don't know. When what, it was. what was the, what was the first time that you came to here Belgrade? Belgrade? Yes, yes. With the Oya, um, I guess maybe it was 2000. I don't know. It was during that uh -huh. that time. But it was. But I was only here for like a day. Uh -huh. I came and taught at. Uh, I think it was called Dance Factory. Ah uh, yes, 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 yes. Uh, Dance Factory. Uh, Natasha and Stasha. Yeah, the other yes. girl was really beautiful dancer at the time. Yes, 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 yeah, yes, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. They, yeah uh, I taught there. Cause you were gonna, yeah, I taught there. Yeah, and at the, I think it was called dance director. They had this little girl that, well, she's probably older now, but she was like short hair. She was uh -huh. a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful dancer. Like, yes, yes, yes. And then yes. Um, I taught there, that, and then I left, and then I'd never been to Belgrade, actually visiting Belgrade uh -huh. until my friends were here, and I had time free, and they're like, hey, come visit. 
come visit us, and I was like, ah, you know, I'd actually never been to Belgrade, Belgrade, and I came to visit them because I needed time away, and um, and then I stayed, I stayed with them for a few months, just hanging out, mm -hmm. and then I'm posting with photos. Oh, I'm in Belgrade. I'm in um, friends, and then yeah, 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 yeah. then all these schools would call me and. Mm. To teach workshops. Yeah, I, I noticed that, that you you yeah. are uh, 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 quite creative. That you work a lot. That uh, you've been like uh, uh, niche versions. Uh, uh, you have like uh, the dance open awards, like a competition, yeah. and uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Time Italy dance uh, video yeah, awards. Yeah. So uh, tell me, tell, tell me about it. But I noticed um, uh, through your Facebook that you have some. Uh, uh, jobs uh, for the Red Star Chile leaders. Oh, also. Red Star, yeah, they're yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're a hard worker like Jace yeah. Brown, the most yeah, with the, the working Star, man with, in the business. With the Red Star, that was fun because I, 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 I worked, I um, choreographed, uh, gave him a workshop. They're so cute, they're so wonderful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. We, we, did, we, did, we did it to Blackpink. We nice, did. nice. So, yeah, and then schools would call me and I, and I, uh, I like I do workshops and um, but I, but it was weird. what was funny is like when I'm in Varshats, like when I was in Varshats, I would they would always I would I would only teach like contemporary jazz. When I was in Belgrade, I did some hip hop and niche. I did like kind of jazzy. Like everyone, yeah, 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 Everyone always had me doing Pancho when I did. I think Pancho was hip hop, but it's like every city. No, no, no. Every, you, every you city have has varieties. Doing specific, you have varieties. I noticed. Yeah, the yeah. specific for that you know uh, school, dancing yeah. school and Which everything so. that's why being trained is good because uh. i'm not yeah i would do hip-hop here contemporary there and then i started uh yeah and i started teaching at all these different different schools in belgrade and i was visiting my friends here and that's when my first time i um i came to belgrade and, uh -huh. and then i really like belgrade I like actually, I really yeah yeah like, it's capital yeah, yeah. And i belgrade we have all the popcorn machines everywhere and, <laughs> yeah course. and then me and my friends and my friends you know they're they're from here so we would we spent time like just in Belgrade, we, you know, we just really liked Belgrade, and then, uh, and then I was in, uh, I, yeah, I've been a couple of times. Then um, I was here April. There was supposed to be the World uh, Dance World Opens here uh -huh, last, uh -huh. last April, uh -huh, uh -huh. and um, Alexandra, the one of the ladies, she asked me to judge it. Yes, 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 yeah, I yeah. And then yeah. I was, and then I was, and then at that time I was, uh, I was with uh, Olina. She's a, has a dance school in Bosnia and uh -huh, Bosnia and here. Okay. And in Belgrade, like she has a school on the border. She asked me to go to Bosnia uh, to teach at her school, um, and I, it was a lovely school. She's yeah, that, that I forgot the name of that place, but it was like, on Bosnia. But it, it was so much fun. She had she had a um, a student. They asked me to do a solo for so, and I taught the classes. But the owner, uh, the uh, the parents, they owned a fast food place in that city. B. I, I Vinia, know. Vinia. But it's like a really cool fast food place. Uh -huh. So basically, I can go there anytime and get what I want free. Ooh. Like anytime. I'm not talking about I have to like certain times. I You're a lucky just, guy. I, yeah, I could just pass by there and be like, hey, I want a hot dog and a pizza and a Coca Cola. Leave, walk around, visit. Like it was so much fun. Yeah, and then after that, I came back here. But I got the stamp. Uh -huh. I got that stamp. And I was like, oh, I can stay longer. Mm, great, like, great. Okay, great, I can great. stay longer. I go, and then she asked me to do the eight, because I got, it was like February, uh -huh. and I got the stamp, so I was like, I can stay till the end of April. Mm -hmm. So I was like, okay. Then the lady uh, asked me to do the competition, and then that's when the COVID. Yes, right? yes, 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 that, yes. And then that's when the but whole, uh, whole COVID no matter right. what, uh, you you will still manage to, to to be creative in that I quarantine mean, time and everything. I so to, no, I managed to stay alive. <laughs> ah, yes, yes, no, yes. I managed yes. to stay alive. That was the, you know, I just managed to stay alive. Uh, so was, what's the what's the idea with the with the uh, time? Or uh, I said correctly, time, team, time, time, time. Time. Italy uh, dance. This is uh, the La Cruz project. Uh, yeah. I noticed on the on the on yeah, internet. Yeah, time, so... time is a it's a dance dance company. Uh, dance company, a dance wear clothing company. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Time. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I noticed. Yes. Uh, but um, if, if they're based in Milan, but they're different than other dance because there's so many people that have dance clothes. But they have dance and fitness. Uh -huh, uh -huh. But they do. But they but but the the they organize their own workshops. That's the whole different. Ball game. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I mean? They do all. Uh, they do workshops. They do conventions. They don't just sell dance where they're associated. They're in. She's she's now uh, doing a whole big thing and going to Japan, here and there. Like she, they organize workshops. They organize. They do not. They do events and everything like that. So they got in touch. I got in touch with me. We worked work together. So what I'm doing is uh, I'm doing. Uh, I'm creating. Uh, I'm gonna be the director of their um, creating workshops for them mm -hmm. online and. Uh, 
around the world. So it'll be like Thiam workshops where mm-hmm. we bring in. But, but the way I'm doing is I'm bringing in, um, we're going to have like dance workshops. Mm-hmm. We're going to create a dance convention, mm-hmm. workshop competition here in uh, Serbia. Nice, not nice, me. Nice, nice, nice. I nice. introduced them nice. to people. Great, great. But, but what we're going to do is what I'm going to do is like the first premiere of the workshop online is going to be in Times Square. Ooh. With them. I know that you'll bring some people. Yeah, I'm bringing my friends that dance in Step Up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. a step up movie and uh, step up two, and mm-hmm. um, they're gonna t- we're gonna teach like uh, the routines from the movies like on in li- live in Central Park like mm-hmm. like that, and then we're gonna do like uh, workshops online and live and everything. But uh, yeah, that's what's the time. But uh, uh, I that's think cool, right? Yeah, yes. learn the routine. On, you're gonna be in Times Square mm-hmm. on Times Square learning from step up, and we're gonna do workshops everywhere. Um, like I'm gonna create workshops like all over U- USA and actually mm-hmm. Europe and we're just gonna but it's gonna be fine with the clothes with the yeah. whole cool thing. But uh, you will yeah. work uh, with the, that uh, winners from the time and dance open awards uh, uh, as I uh, oh dance uh, yeah well da- understand uh, correctly. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, you you have like uh, winners. Uh, oh, from yeah, the yeah, time yeah, Italy yeah. and, and they had, you yeah, have what, like what I is, uh, I talked something to, to, with them to, to, yeah, to yeah. do and uh, the dance open awards also you said that you will bring uh, some people to uh, US to, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. in a couple oh, yeah. of, uh, oh, what a couple of months uh, or what happened with time is that at one point when I was here during the, during the whole lockdown they asked they wanted they needed uh, since I became their dancer uh-huh. they needed a video of me a photo shoot of me because they had to do that whole uh-huh. thing and then during that time I was like you know um, why don't we just create something here while I'm in Serbia to give these, you know, a chance for dancers to have some, do something different. I mean, because it's during COVID. Let's, so I was like, instead of having me dance or whatever, I go, can we just, let me just get some dancers and we'll make a cool video. And, and then, so I got some friends. The first video we did was with uh, Eva, Alyssa, uh, um, Ivy, uh, Hannah, mm. yeah, and, and Niche. Yeah, yeah, we did a niche, and we did a video. They gave the time, gave them the free clothes, uh-huh. and then they did a really cool video. And then it was fun. It was really, really, really awesome. And um, and then that started spreading the news. So then there was a dance competition. I was like, mm-hmm. and I talked to Thiam. I was like, let's do an award. And I, I, and I mixed them with. Uh, there's a in USA. There's there was a dance competition called a uh, uh, commercial dance intensive. It's in USA, mm-hmm. North Carolina. So, um, but they, but the workshops. It's not like a workshop you've ever been to because. Uh, that workshop is, is is trained to teach you how to get a job. Uh-huh, uh-huh. You're learning dance, you're learning choreography, like you're learning, they have some amazing teachers, but they teach you about auditions, they teach you about headshots, how to mm. work with a camera, yeah, 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 how yeah, to yeah. live in New York or LA. <laughs> they teach you like life. And actually, uh, they, uh, my friend, uh, my friend, um, Kid, Kid Peru, he's actually one of their main teachers. He's actually a dancer for Lady Gaga. He's an old, uh-huh. in Movie Honey. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yes, you yes, know, yes. he's like God. He's like in every single music video in the world. He's danced for Janet Jack. He's, he's it. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Like, yeah, he, if you watch Lady Gaga, he's always right next to her. Like, he's it. He's like, he's, <laughs> he teaches for her regularly and, and everything. So it's a really cool workshop. And what I did is I worked with Thiam and I created a work where they get the Thiam clothes to go there and dance. But the award is, is, uh, is three weeks. They're going to spend three uh-huh, weeks in LA. Uh-huh. And I'm taking them on a three week uh, road trip. Nice, so we're gonna pick nice, them up nice, in LA, nice, nice. and then my friend, uh, my friend Sarah, she has uh, two <coughs> mini bus, you know, VW surf buses. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and she has, and she has beds in them where like that because she's a surfer chick. So um, Great. we're gonna pick them up in LA. Then we're gonna take them to San Francisco. We're gonna take them there across uh, San, uh, through Hollywood all the way to Santa Barbara through um, to South Carolina mm-hmm. for the workshop. After the workshop, we're gonna drive to New York. Great. We're going to great. take basically it's a road trip from yes, LA yeah, yeah, yeah. to New York. We're going to go to Broadway Dance Center. They're going to dance, then all the way back, and they leave again. Yeah, but they're Serbian great, dancers. Great, they, great, yeah, the great, dancers great. that wanted they went into Serbia, so they're going to get a they get that order. And all they pay for is their flight. Uh huh. But everything else is paid for. The food, the classes, everything's free. Ooh, great. Yeah, so great. And the flight's like three hundred euros. But actually, like it's in uh, December, so hopefully I'm going to talk with them and create something where. Hopefully we can come up come up with a way. I think we can because when I go back home, I can organize some uh, some scholarships and stuff uh, with the with my friend um, Bill. He worked with airlines. Maybe we can get uh-huh. their flight free. Mm-hmm. Great, great, so great, not, great, great, yeah, great, great. Yeah, so that's with the time. <laughs> yeah, and actually, yeah, and so that's so. And then uh, and then this this time at the Open Awards, we gave uh, three dancers one. Uh, uh, a separate award because there was that was the other award and the other but this one at the open awards the three dancers they won a video shoot with Thiam mm, where they're gonna make great. a video kind of cut a cool commercial uh-huh. for Thiam and they get a, they get all the free clothes and then we're gonna make a video then Thiam's gonna post it which is great because um, the dancers that won are really cool there's that one girl's really good um, mm. 
I forgot, but she's like, uh -huh. uh, she's really good at hip hop. I don't mm. know, you probably know who she is. She won the award. Uh -huh. But um, and what's and what's good about them is like, once they start posting it, it it, it, it's gonna, it opens a lot. Like uh, I had Ivy, uh, she's from uh, Alexander Superstar School. The young girl in the video that I first met, she has all these legs. I'm mm. yeah. When I put put the video in all the time, we're all these dance schools that I work with in Italy. I was like, oh, can she? Is she a teacher? Like, oh, she's like 14 years old or 15. Ooh. And they're like, oh my God, we would like when she's older, <laughs> we would love to have her come and do workshops. And see, so it opens up. It's going to open up jobs for them if they start. Great. You know, yeah. So and Great. I'm sure, like once they, you know, once they, because it's a whole country, different country like that. So they can. It's gonna if these these, these dancers will make some different opportunities for them, which is cool. Great, 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 great. What is the what is the good dancer to your opinion? What the the dancer should do to be better and to live dance life? Uh, because you have so much you know, experience. Just learn everything. Don't uh -huh. be. Uh, just learn everything because the dance world changes so much. Mm -hmm. I mean, it changes all the time. But right now, this. Dance has changed so much to where you really can mix all styles, uh -huh, uh -huh. and at the same time with all the there's so much, you know, well pre COVID and everything, but uh -huh. but there's all these like dance movies, dance films, dance concerts, there's so much going on. But it's always not just one style of dance. This is learn everything, learn everything. And if you don't like it, learn it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Learn everything. I think just because I, of the job, because yeah, of, or just a job, just dance life. I know uh, if you like recreation, if you love hip hop, love Play, plenty contemporary, people. love yeah. I mean. Just for, take that one style if you just love, but if you want to be like a professional working dancer, you need yeah, to plenty learn, people who wants to to to, learn learn, to have more jobs. You need to learn everything, everything. Ballet, jazz. Actually, it's just simple. Ballet, jazz, hip hop. That's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ballet, yeah. jazz, hip hop. Learn ballet, jazz, hip hop equally. That's <laughs> it. That's no secret about just ballet, jazz, hip hop. Even if you don't do ballet, jazz, ballet good. At least you know. It. If you don't yeah, do yeah, hip hop basically. good, at least you know jazz. Just those three things will change your life. At you least know? will uh, help you to be uh, better in your own better style. Better in your own style and yeah. create your own style. And it's just like just to learn learn everything because you're a dancer. You're not a hip hop dancer. You're not a contemporary uh -huh. dancer. You're a dancer. Respect it. Great. Great. You know great, what I mean? Great. Like respect. Yes, 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 just yes, respect yes. the dance. Respect your calling. Dance didn't choose you. Dance. Uh -huh. I don't think dance has ever said, "I want you to be this." No, they want you to be a dancer. They just want dance like it's it's a it's you know it's like a religion yeah 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 you know it's what i mean a, it's like it's like it, it's a calling it's like it cho if it if dance chose you it chose you to dance so you should learn every dance so you should dance everything you can yeah i you can have your favorite style of dance that's of course you everyone course. has their favorite style yes, of dance yes. but at the same time respect all dance forms and learn all, all dance mm -hmm. forms because it's like the world's changing and especially now you can create like so many different styles they it's beautiful what they do now with dance yes, they create yes, yes, so yes. everything's mixing and everything's you know just i think if you really want to be a dancer a working dancer just like you just you know you just learn everything at the same time there's always dancers better than you so you have to find something that's going to make so, you stand uh, out you know uh, what i mean because there's a you have so much competition uh, i mean there's great dancers there's always going to be a better dancer than you it's like a fact there's always going to be someone better than you the only thing that's going to make you different is is the is the way not the way you dance, it's the way dance represents you uh -huh. or how dance chooses you. And if you learn all these different styles, people are going to know that about you. Like, oh, this person does so much, so many different styles and, and has their own little movement. That's the way dance is representing you. You're not re representing yourself because mm -hmm, mm -hmm. dance is like it, cho it chooses you and it's just trust that. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like just trust it. Just trust dance. Let dance learn everything. Learn learn you know it's just like learn not even learn let it in mm. did dancers you know? uh, uh got to, too many respects in 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 uh, in the world respect Re respect did they uh, uh, did they respected uh, what what in, they do, did what they do i mean dancer in the world, dancer, oh, in the yeah, world. Yeah, yeah because yeah. you know what uh, uh, our mutual friend Pavel smith jr yeah, yeah, yeah. The great guy humble guy uh, when we uh, have him uh, here in, in, in Belgrade, uh, we talked about like uh, when he uh, told her mother, uh, his, his mother, uh, uh, that he want to uh, make uh, in a dance uh, world and uh, try to live, yeah. uh, she not agreed. She not agreed, but after uh, when he started to, to, to dance with, with Michael and Janet and everything, yeah. and uh, 
his mother was like, like okay. <laughs> okay, no problem. No problem. But yeah. it's, it's a big uh, yeah, road no trip to, to okay. Michael Jackson no, and no Janet problem, Jackson. No problem. So uh, 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 did the, uh, the my family as long as I didn't. Uh-huh. I just thought because I wanted to become a gangbanger there. <laughs> with whatever I did. No, my family supports me, whatever. They just love me. I, I think they're happy. The only thing I think they don't like is that it, it takes me away from them so much. Uh-huh. So my mom, I miss my mom, my brothers and sisters, like my family. I miss my family. During that time, it was because when I first went to New York, I didn't come home for 10 years. Oh. I stayed in New York because I fell in love with the city. Just yeah. Took me. For when, I, the, when I decided to stay in New York, yeah, I didn't leave for 10 years. I didn't see my family for, this was before like Facebook and Instagram. I didn't see my uh-huh, family uh-huh. for 10 years, didn't see my family. Cause I was so just wrapped up in that world. Of what about the Thanksgiving days, uh, no, New Year's? No, 10 years, no, I stayed in New York. Damn, I mean, did you New have York. contact? Or? I contact, yeah, uh-huh. yeah, we talk all the, no, but like I stayed in New York. That's I was time. like, yeah, That's a long, a long time, time, 10 years. My first, actually my first Christmas in New York was with, uh, was with um, Kid Peru. Ja- ja- uh, Lady Gaga's dancer. Uh-huh. Yeah, I mean, Victor, Victor, Rick, they he called him Kit Fruin, but Victor uh, Rojas, he's danced, we talked about him before, he's like uh-huh. in Lady Gaga. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, yes. we spent our, our first, my first Christmas in New York was me and him and some other dancer, but we spent our first uh, um, Christmas in New York. And my first Thanksgiving in New York was with our friend uh, George Rubella. George, George Rubella, great, yeah, great guy, yo, great guy. brother, yeah, because me and his brother, me and his brother was really yeah, good friends. Yeah, yeah. And they invited me for Thanksgiving, and that was the first. That was the first Thanksgiving <laughs> Great. I spent in um, in New York at their house with all of them. It was yeah, so much yeah. wonderful. Uh, I hang out with with uh, Gio Cubella uh, in Germany uh, at uh, the world competitions uh, many years. But I didn't notice he's, that he's a hot shot. That hot he was guy. so humble. No, so like, yeah. <laughs> someone would say like, "Oh, small world." No, we're too yeah, big. <laughs> Actually, so well, great, yeah, great, George. Great. I, well, me and his brother were so close, and Beth, and, and they were like, "He was yeah. like, yeah, my brother's a dancer." But I didn't realize it was like he was like, oh. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you see me him too. Me Janet too. Jackson, yeah. Love Don't Cost a Thing, and the yeah, movie yeah. Step Up. And Step Up. Yeah, yeah and and all scene, yeah. And the club scene, and like you know. But this was before that. But he was still like. He was still who he was, but I didn't. He was so great, kind. Great, great, great. But that family was God. My first thing with that family, me and his brother, I miss them. Me, but <laughs> me and George's brother was really great. great, great, great and Beth's great. sister. They have all kids now and everything. But <laughs> yes, yeah, yes, yes. but I didn't leave for yeah, I didn't leave for t- I didn't leave for ten years. Uh-huh. Ten years. I didn't realize that until I went home. I was like, God, I didn't see you for ten years. I just got caught up in New York. That's why I think with dance or with a city, it. it chooses you and yes, just, yes you, definitely you know, yeah definitely. it'll let you it'll let you go but at the same time you're always going to return and I think, <laughs> of course yeah, i think i think dance is like uh it's like a, it's like the, your first and your first love your first your no love, actually not even your first love dance to no me doubt. dance is just like it's like a relation relationship it's like your wife your husband your family your brother your, religion you have, you have religion. problems yeah sometimes you hate dance like you hate your brother and you fight with uh-huh, the uh-huh. or you fight with the girlfriend sometimes you're so obsessively in love with it like when you see your niece or Mm. Your mo- you know, you see your mom, and all. that's dance. You have ups and downs with it, but it's 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 family. It's like it's uh, like I said, you know what I mean? Because <laughs> yes, there's yes. times where I hate a dance. I hate dance. I was like, oh, uh, dance. you know no what I mean? Yeah, because it's like a, that dance is like you can hate it. You can because it's family. It's like a, you know. Then sometimes you love it, and dance you know watches you and takes over you. If you don't respect it, it'll piss. It'll Ooh. make things difficult for you. Yes. There's a point where I I didn't work for a while because I was kind of lost as a dancer. That was when I disrespected it because I just didn't really know I just kind of was lost you know and then it woke me up again to realize that's what you're meant to do for the rest of your life yeah, yeah, you know what yeah. I mean because after a while as a dancer you do get bored of dance I mean uh-huh. you think if you're starting out you still because it's life it's dice so you're it's you get pissed off at your mom uh, same thing so with dance it was like of course yeah, uh, you cannot you know? eat soup every day yeah sure. yeah and sometimes with dance it's like kind I, of boring I, I got from time I to time fell out of love with it for a while but that was my life so that was like okay I'll just start teaching and and then like that, and then you got to the point where okay, I definitely I, uh, we I, need to have like yeah, a, time, a little yeah. bit break and a time yeah. off. To and I took in the time I came here to invest in yeah, some other the things. I, in the time I came to Serbia, or like before Serbia, a year before Serbia, I just took a time off from dance, from that whole performing, from that whole world. I just uh-huh. needed it. I just did. I don't know, just didn't, I just wasn't, I wasn't there. I didn't feel it anymore. Uh-huh, Until uh-huh. then with the whole COVID, I felt it again. Uh-huh. Actually, it had nothing to do with COVID probably, but it, it just, I just needed that, that time. And now uh-huh. I'm ready to go back to that Great. world. That so world. Uh, what are your future dance plans? Uh, future dance plans is to dance. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> nice. <laughs> Great. Um, just uh, to perform. <laughs> I had the, the uh, 
I'm gonna the governor's ball in New York. That's I'm doing that. And I just I, when I I want to actually before COVID, I just I want to create a name. I do a lot of music festivals. I told you I do Ooh, a lot nice, of nice, music nice, festivals, nice. dancing in them. And I want to create like an agency where it represents dancers to have mm. them dance at music festivals. Because I told you at the music yes. festival in September. I would. That's how where I made my living dancing for artists at the music festivals, mm. and we and I did. I've been. I, that was my life, and so what I want to do is I think it would be cool to create a company where I, I represent dancers and get them to festivals. Because sometimes at festivals, a lot of artists they want dancers or they won't use dancers or they use dancers. But I'm like, uh, but some concerts you have like the music festivals, you have like Billie Eilish, Ariana Grande, Beyonce, you know, all these different rock acts and always come together, these cool music festivals. And the organization, they always give them props they need. And that's what, and I got into it as a prop, as a dancer, when some dance, when they get to the stage, oh, we can use a dancer. And because they don't bring you, dancers don't work with the artists all the time. They're like, oh, yeah. actually I can use a dancer. But they're like, oh, we have dancers. So I want to create an agency for that where, you know, nice. when I go back to New York, I'm going to, uh, that's going to be my calling. My next calling is to create Great. like an agency and get dancers to dance at these music festivals all over, all over. You know. Mm. So, uh, uh, oh, Bebo, hey, <laughs> love you. <laughs> yeah, I, but that's that's what I want to do. I want to then I can give opportunities to dancers to dance on tour with like these artists that yeah. they love, mm. but in a different setting where it's live. It's not. It's more personal. It's more like, you know, plus. To, to be able to dance for different artists that they never thought about dancing for, mm. you know, that's that's what I want to do. So, uh, yeah. when we can uh, expect you uh, again here in in, in Serbia? Uh, Next year, maybe? Maybe, yeah. <laughs> I, depends on where I I I, I, I go. Because uh -huh. with COVID, the COVID, the whole world. But changed. I know that you have some like uh, you know, special friends here in, oh, yeah. in Serbia. Alexandra from Superstar. <laughs> oh yeah, well, Alexandra. Well, from Superstar. And many so, others? Many others, yeah. Many <laughs> others, yeah. Well, yeah, there's one girl. <laughs> of yeah, course. One girl. That's why like, I ask you. <laughs> yeah, but she had a boyfriend, so. Yeah. <laughs> okay, maybe next time. Yeah, maybe yeah. next time. But actually, she was, oh my God, I really like, whew, she uh, almost stayed for her, but yeah, you can't. You no, know, it's nice. Yeah, and she doesn't know, so that's a good thing about it. <laughs> oh, but well, no, when I was here during the COVID, it was uh, Alexandra, like, um, from Dance Superstar. She, like, oh God, she took care of me. Like, she's, like, she's the one... Yeah, that's the one person I love. I'm gonna really miss. And Viva. 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 I was saying Viva. You know what's funny story, dude? Viva. Uh, <laughs> Viva. Uh, she works with uh, Hurricane. Yes. 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 Yeah, yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So the first time I met her, we were talking, and then I was like, "Oh, how's uh, choreographing for Tornado?" Tornado. <laughs> <laughs> And she's like, what? I go, Tornado. Tor tornado. You're choreographing before that group, Tornado. She was like, Hurricane. I go, <laughs> Hurricane. And every time I sp would speak about her, I'd be like, Bibi, Boo Boo, Bibi's, Bum Bum, Bum Bum. Because I could never say her name right. And, uh, uh, and she actually uh, awesome because she get one during yes. the lockdown, she gave me free dance space. Yes, yes, it's great. It's great. She, great always, she called me and I always asked, how am I doing? Great. Uh, how's everything? A lot of people, they did that because when I was locked, during lockdown here during the COVID, everyone was always, because I was American here, they really like took care of me. This country, That's why I love this country. This country really took care of me, you know, but Viva and Alexandra from Warshats, they, uh -huh. them two really like, Man, they just they went out of their way. Great, to, great, uh, great, great, great. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, at the uh, so, tornado, <laughs> tornado, <laughs> tornado. <laughs> oh, yeah. okay. Uh, at the end, uh, I have some like uh, uh, quick questions. Uh, what do you prefer the most, uh, uh, choreography versus freestyle? But you uh, choreography. Said, I'm, yeah, I'm freestyle. Yeah. I, just I love watching minute, freestyle. But... I love freestyle. But that's a calling too. That's uh -huh. a, I'm, I'm not. I can't freestyle at all. I, uh -huh. can't, I can't freestyle at all. I, that's, I can't do that at all. If I freestyle, I would look like I can't even dance. It's okay. Uh, we, yeah, we vote on, on choreography, right? Choreography, yeah. Okay. Choreography, because freestyle, that's a whole, that's a beautiful, <laughs> that's, whew, these people that can freestyle, when they uh -huh. really like, yes. that's a, that's like a shine from God. Yes, 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 they yes. They do things they can. They make it history in the moment. Yeah, I got uh, some, I, but I need choreography. I can't do that because that's like, that's, <laughs> that's like the breakers when they do break. Yes, 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 yes. I yes, can't, yes, yeah, yes. freestyle. I wish I could, I wish I knew that's a, that's a, something that's just a whole other world. We, uh, we will work uh, next time. When yeah, we, that freestyle. Uh, yeah, come here. So uh, how you manage uh, uh, passion versus jobs? You know, like uh, you you are uh, passionate about some choreography, but when you have a job, uh, you need to be quicker and you know uh, to force yourself to 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 make uh, choreography and everything. So so how you manage you know uh, passion uh, versus versus jobs that you need to do? Uh, like you are you are forced to you know. 
Uh, no, it's dance. You're never forced. It's no. I'm, okay, I'm, you know, so someone said you like uh, I need the choreography on, on two days. Then you so do it. Can, can you do it? Yeah, it's beautiful. Okay, so it's it's equal. Okay, it's passion. Equal. No, it's, it's passion. equal. It's, it's balance. E yes, yeah, equal. It's, it's balance. balance. Plus, at the same time, you're happy to work. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. No, no. When you like, I, yeah, there's deadlines I would have. Like you have to do uh -huh. this, really, and you're doing the deadline, but but it's beautiful. It's fun because it's like like, it's like Michael Jackson. Uh, yeah. He 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 uh, love to, to to work out of the pressure because yeah the pressure like you create the push yourself yeah, you, uh, you more create, and more yeah the the best thing you create that that's the through the pressure there's a story uh, I got from um, uh, uh, Chet Walker he was he was uh, he choreographed a Broadway uh -huh. Fosse one of the choreographers for the Broadway he worked with Bob I think Fosse. he he also been here Chet Walker Chet like Walker, yeah, yeah. Chet Walker he's famous for theater he's like danced with Bob Fosse he had he told me the story where. Um, him and uh, uh, um, Bob Fosse, when he was uh, stuck, uh -huh. you know, he had he would just like get some Jack Daniels. I don't know what it was. Uh -huh. Oh, uh -huh. go into the room and he would just drink and just do it. Uh -huh. And he loved working under that pressure. But it was never pressure. It was always like. Mm -hmm. It's just like that. It's just you know you, you, that's what you're meant to do. It's your calling. Uh, yeah. Like uh, yeah. Yeah. Jeffrey Daniel, Casper, and Michael Jackson. Casper, Casper. Casper. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Casper, yeah, yeah. He did that uh, uh, bad routines like yeah. uh, Greg in, 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 yeah, yeah. in two days. Two days in, two days. in a hotel room. Yeah, yes, 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 yes. The video them. The video them. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. yeah. In, in bed twenty five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 He did that whole, so. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jeffrey Daniels, man. Yeah, that's Greg. golden. Yeah, and then <laughs> Greg Burks. Yeah, but they, yeah, they did that like. That pressure. At the same time, when you're like, even like when you're, uh, there's a, there's a, I don't know if it's in Serbia or I don't know if it's a universal thing about dance, but there's a, there's a, there's a thing with dance where when you're, you're performing or when you're going about to go on stage where I don't know if maybe it's a New York thing I don't know, but where the last minute you change something. Uh huh. Uh huh. Does that do that? Do you yeah, guys, yeah, that yeah, 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 yeah. Quite a time. Quite a time. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Just like that moment you change something because it's like it's a it's like a good luck uh -huh, to uh -huh. change something before. So that's why pressure is good because you always come up with the the best things change changing. Uh -huh. At the same time, as a dancer, if you learn everything, if you're in that thing, you don't have you have so many like things to choose from. Uh, you know yeah. what uh, Lavelle Smith uh, told me that uh, when they did the, that uh, uh, great uh, Michael Jackson choreographies, uh, they never uh, pick the the first thing that like you know uh, make yeah. like first of all they messing around yeah. and, and and pushing and pushing and pushing. He said uh, like we never did like okay this is the cool move but we try to push it all the way and try to do, make him e it even bigger yeah, even yeah, bigger so it. you know like that uh, Chad Walker like you said yeah, yeah. like you know yeah, like the, yeah, push, the, it push it through the bottle yeah, yeah. whole yeah. bottle of when jack. I was in New York when I was a janitor when we were taking classes we used to like uh, my friends that are at the time we would like at night we would like once the studios locked we would go out, we would grab alcohol and uh -huh. go and just drink in the studio and just dance till 5 a.m. Oh, great. Pass out from drinking. Great. And we were just training each other off. The funniest thing is when you have dance, dancing when you're drunk, because uh -huh. especially if you're dancing with uh -huh. a ballet dancer, because ballet dancers can do all the turns and stuff. So uh -huh. when they're drunk, they can, like, I have one friend, she can do like 15 pirouettes. Like, Still? Is, uh, no, she has kids now, probably if she drunk. No, no, but, no, no uh, while drinking. No, that we were, we were, she would like, technically 15 pirouettes all the time and one time we're drinking uh -huh. and i was like dude come on turn turn and she like did like three and five ah! <laughs> but it's funny though like it's, yeah, yeah, it's yeah, funny, yeah. But, yeah last one last one uh if you somehow uh have a magic stick and one wish and uh regarding on a dance scene dance community uh, dance world what it would be like improve something and you know, every country has some problems and everything. So uh, you have one wish and one magic stick. What would it be like? Let it be and uh, to improve. Thing, I would think. You know, I always thought like with uh, all these dance background, these dancers that choreograph and that dance background for like all these big artists, like you know, Beyonce. Uh -huh, uh -huh. It's like if I had a wish, it was like that they're the, they should be the star. Uh -huh. Because without the dancers, what do they? Exactly. They have. Exactly. And I exactly. think dancers, dancers, we we in films and like we we don't have too much credits. Not credit. We do have credit. Credits. No, you do have credit, but it's uh -huh. like you have credit. Like, but you know, but the, the the background, the dancers that dance on tour and stuff, they like that dance. The, the it's just like dance. It's like I just wish that you know, like 
you you love an artist mostly because of the dance, like single uh -huh. ladies. Blah, blah, blah. Well, who, those dancers should be the ones making all the millions of dollars, uh -huh. not just Beyonce. We also will have nothing without them, right? Yeah, not, not in my opinion. When you when you love dance because you watch the music videos and you have all these amazing, beautiful dancers, so they should be getting paid more than the artists because they are they're the ones that are making the artists look good. In my opinion, just my opinion. They're making the dance. They're making they're making them look better than they are. You yes, know, yes, so yes, I think yes, they yes. should get the credit for that. They should get higher the payment for that because if you watch all the videos that people love, it's Thriller, Michael Jackson, all the great, great videos now with Chris Brown, all the amazing, they have all these badass dancers that are so amazing, that are making the artists look good. So mm -hmm. they should get paid for that. They should get bigger credit for that. They should mm -hmm. get more like, great. you know, because that's like, they're making, because without them, what do they have? They have just the artists like, and so many artists, mm -hmm. That are real famous, they cannot dance by themselves. There's a few artists that are actually like, like Michael Jackson, uh -huh, and uh -huh. Justin Bieber, and uh -huh, Justin Timberlake, uh -huh. that Just can yeah. actually dance by themselves. And really, Chris Brown can really like don't need no dancers. Uh, yeah, but there's yeah, a yeah. lot of these other artists that need those dancers. So those dancers <coughs> should be making those millions of dollars. Yes, yes, I agree. Right, I agree, I agree. <laughs> yeah, right, yeah, they should be making that millions of dollars. You know, because they can't do what the the best, the best, the most talented people I've ever met in my life have been dancers. Mm. Dancers are the most talented people in the whole fucking world. I'm sorry. Great, but the great, whole great, great. world because dancers like you can't, there's things, you know, you have all these actors and stuff, but you can't do what dancers do uh -huh. unless the dance chose you because there's some amazing dancers out there that are so <laughs> brilliantly beautiful and nice. amazing that nobody, that nobody can do what they can do. Nobody, that's, it's up to, they should be like getting the, they should be the Oscar. They should be like, you know, like, you know, golden, like, you know, like the most, most of the dance community, most of the dance world does, don't even, doesn't even know who Fatima Robinson is. Hey, uh, she did the, uh, uh, remember the time, Michael yeah. Jackson. Yeah, when with, with Stretch, with Stretch. Yeah, yeah, but they don't know who she is. Who she, Fatima freaking yeah, Robinson. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've yeah. never met her, but she would be like my, she's great, yeah. Like yeah. the one, She's the only dancer I would ever like cry if I met. She's the oh. only one. She's the only one. She's it for me. I, if I got to meet her, I would. How like, is she the best? I would How like. She's best? Fatima Robinson's like. She's it for me. She's the. Yeah. She's the most greatest choreographer in the world. She's the most. She's it for me. And most people don't even know who she mm. is. I agree. You know. Agree. But I agree. The people that are like powerful. They know who she is. Ah. Will Smith, Michael Jackson. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, Aaliyah. Aaliyah, Aaliyah, she was Aaliyah's Aaliyah, choreographer. Yeah. Uh -huh. Aaliyah's choreographer. She'd worked with like, like right uh, with uh, the Gap commercials. She choreographed all the Gap commercials. Uh, she choreographed the uh, Soul Train, the TV uh -huh. series, like that. Uh, she's she choreographed for everyone. Yeah, big deal, big deal. Yeah, she's yeah, a yeah. big deal. Most people don't know. Who she, and she's like. Remember the time Michael Jackson? Plus every hip hop dancer, if you love hip hop dancers, you should know who she is because this she was one of the first street dancers to become a choreographer. Yes, yes. Michael yes, Jackson, yes. remember the time? Yes. Uh, yes. John Singleton knew Fatima from dancing at the clubs. Uh huh. Because uh -huh. Fatima Robinson was a club dancer, and he was like, hey, you know, he started getting her jobs, and he was like, hey, choreograph Michael. She choreographed Michael Jackson being a street dancer. Yes, yes, yes. He, Come he, on, how good how good are you to have to be a street dancer and someone asks you to choreograph for Michael Jackson? That's for Timo Robinson. How yeah. great are you? Great, great, right? Great. Yeah, uh, Timo, yeah. Too many things, uh, yeah. too little time. Uh, yeah. I just want to say, uh, hermano, gracias for your time. Well, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, see you next time. Uh, I hope that we uh, try to uh, manage uh, new things, new yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, next time you'll come, yeah. uh, we definitely will be in, in contact and try to, 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 to see what's going on in, in, in the world and, yeah, and everything. Yeah, yeah. So uh, this interview is like your crown uh, on your staying here. In, yeah, in, in baby, leaving, like, yeah, like June 10th, I leave. Your statement, your statement. Yeah. So uh, next time we'll do something more. Ljudi, šta vam kažem, ja sam uživo. Nikad nisam ovoliko u jednom cugu govorio engleski. Ako sam nešto ono malo zezno, oprostite. Tako da... Nadam se da ćete da naučite neke stvari, da čujete neke stvari. Ja sam ono ko preposledovan i emocija i informacija. Te s toga poruka za celu plesnu zajednicu je uvek one love. Great, great.